welcome everyone to this week's episode of uh, Amiga Dawn. I must say something else. Um, Please our join your channel. Our Star Frontiers um, and uh, our Star Frontiers campaign. Um, g'day, Thomas. You made it just in time. We're just starting. Um, so, hello. hello. So, um, where the uh, the budget crew are, because we haven't played for a while, and so the people may have forgotten. Uh, the budget crew are on uh, the planet of Qatar. Um, uh, they were uh, they came here w in the accompaniment of a reporter who has since died uh, to um, try and get an interview with a Jack LaRange, who also is now dead, died in the same incident at the starport. Um, the the planet Qatar is in a bit of a, a bit of a bit of a turmoil at the moment. Um, there's a a terrorist liberation group trying to get all the Vrusk off the planet because they think the Vrusk are bad. Um, so, uh, so um, at the moment, um, the uh, the budget crew have basically checked out um, the uh, main capital of the planet uh, and have discovered several vital pieces of information uh, um, regarding the terrorist group, or so they think. Um, and uh, there's been an announcement that uh, Lorange, who's become the become the martyr for the terrorist group, I suppose you'd call him. Um, he's bo he's being buried in his, his hometown, uh, which is several days travel away uh, by train, uh, by monorail, and it's the morning that the monorail is leaving. Now, if I've missed anything, does anyone want any clarification? Um, I think I remember there being something about a bunch of luggage or film yeah. equipment. I'll get to, I'll, I'll, I'll get to, okay. I'll get to that in a second, okay? Wow, I came through and we'll, I got an echo on that. Um, yeah, so uh, anyone else? Has anyone got any else? Anyone got any questions? Anyone got any, want some further clarification? Because it has been a while. Nope. Okay. So it's the morning the train, so the, tra the train leaves, um, is, is leaving um, at uh, 8.07. Um, you guys have arrived on the platform. There is a train map, a map of the train. There we go. Um, um, and yes, there is. Uh, as you are as you are g g um, getting ready to board the train, you um, you notice um, um, uh, a, a cr uh, three individuals uh, wearing SAK um, logos on their on their uh, well, not uniforms, but on their clothing. Uh, SAK is Sis Ak Ka. Uh, they're the they're the news uh, the the news and information conglomerate company trade house on the planet. Uh, and they appear to be loading uh, what appears to be a bunch of film uh, and recording gear recording gear onto the train. So that's why I knew there was a reason. Hmm. So, you, you, what are you guys? You, you happy to board the train, or what do you want to do? I think we're getting on. Oh yeah, the also Jack Lagrange is also secretly the leader. Well, one of the founders of the organization. That's right, the terrorist. You see, I don't recall that. Yeah, Jack Lagrange has a different name because his parents claimed his body under a different name, as. Yeah, I remember C that. I don't remember the name. Cutris Manbella. Curtis, I think you'll find. Uh, it's with an uh, I. Is it? Yeah. Okay. That might be a typo on my part. I'm just going to call him Cutris. 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 Mm. I like that. Whatever. All right. Well, um, the map of the la the map of the tr the, the tr they are, that's a typical train a trans global monorail layout. Um, uh, there are. It should be pretty obvious that whatever what what where everything is and what everything is. Okay. Um. 
um, there is, because the monorail does travel into the upper atmosphere of the planet, you'll remember that the planet has a thin atmosphere and it's only in the depressions where it's pretty safe for people to breathe anywhere, any, uh, any higher. Um, off world as such as yourself need breathing equipment. Now I believe you, some of you bought breathing equipment, but I believe all of you bought breathing equipment, is that right? Uh, most, know. if not all of us have. I think everyone yeah. did. Yeah, yeah. Well, as you'll note on the train there, the, 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 there's breathing equipment um, in located in every car, except for the engine, and there's a hatch onto the roof of the monorail um, of, the, of the car, and there's obviously doors in the side um, of the of the uh, of the vehicle, okay. Um, so you each assigned to sleep. You, you each got, you each got your own sleeping ca sleeping cabinet. Um, what else can I tell you about the train? I haven't told you already. Um, uh, the train itself is suspended by a flexible steel pylon from an overhead steel rail. Um, the rail is supported by steel girders embedded in the rock. Okay, so there's no tunnels or cuttings. Um, actually, it's a little bit like um the uh, the train from uh, solo uh, a Star Wars story did anyone if, if, if you've seen that I don't uh, yeah. I've seen it I don't I can't picture the train though yeah anyway so that's, that's that, type of, that type of thing so it's a monorail um, it's only one one cat right one one side of it and it hangs from the, the steel cable um, and travels travels along and the steel cable it's itself is you know, embedded into pylons, as I said. Um, so you see the train, uh, the, the, the plan for the train. Um, there's obviously the engine car, two cargo cars, two sleeping cars, a restaurant car, and two recreation cars. All right. Uh, the cars are very comfortable. Uh, they have large glass windows providing, or pl uh, still uh, plastic windows providing plenty uh, panoramic, panoramic, panoramic views. I'll get it out in the first, kills me. Um, of the passing country, countryside, right? Uh, all the carriages are pressurised and fully air conditioned and, w and heated if required, uh, and waiter service is available at all times. Recreation, recreation cars provide facilities such as hollow smoothie screens, hollow music videos, and so on. All part of the, all part of the cost of a ticket. Okay? The carriages themselves are connected by flexible tubes and sealed by automatic doors. Okay? Uh, by the entrance to each car, it's an emergency locker uh, and breathing apparatus. Um, six of us, six human, two dwellers, site and two Yazirian at each station. Uh, each carriage has a plate in the ceiling which allows emergency exit or emergency access, I should say, to the carriage roof. Um, the, tr the, the train's got a crew of nine, two RIC guards, uh, two ST, ST technicians, and uh, five ST stewards. Okay. Um, the train is about three quarters full. Okay. Um, so you're shown to your sh your cabins by one of the stewards. Uh, you're given uh, pass keys, mag keys, uh, so you can lock all your any personal equipment in there. Okay. Um, and uh, the steward says that you are free to visit the lounge and the restaurant whenever you require. Okay, um, and of course the recreation cars. And has anyone got any questions? How big is the breathing equipment that we purchased? I mean, is that like a belt pack or is it? Uh, well, for the humans and the Vrask and the Yazirians, it's basically a, a gas mask. I get a so bag. It, wouldn't be, it might be a little unusual, but it wouldn't be that big of a deal to carry mine around. Uh, yeah, it would be unusual, but it, 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 it would, it's certainly not forbidden to, for doing that. If you want to carry it around on your belt or something like that. Yeah, um, I you, get a, you get a few strange looks from people, be, and, and, and w a couple of the stewards uh, or people eventually say, uh, you know, in, uh, gently, politely let you know it's, that's not required. Yeah, the the the, per the the trains are perfectly sealed, perfectly safe, but there's no, they're not going to stop you. They'll stop That's you carrying what a gun. they all say. <laughs> <laughs> They'll stop you carrying a gun. Um, yeah, the, 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 they they politely ask you to, to leave your leave your 
um, you know, certainly your weapons um, in, uh, in your cabin. They will not stop you carrying a gun, but again, nobody else is carrying one. Um, and force acts and rifles and grenades, you really are a no-no. Well, we don't have rifles or... Well, we have some grenades, but we don't have rifles. Yeah, we have yeah and force axes. Of course we have force axes. Leave them in your cabin, Steve. So for argument's sake, let's say you guys are in the first sleeping uh, carriage, which is the one furthest from the restaurant, okay? The one yep. on the right, gotcha. The one on the right, yeah. Alright. Um, yes. Yeah, that one. More or less. Okay. Um, so, um, everyone gets, abo gets on board. Um, I don't have any high-tech train noises. I've got, some, I got some, uh, some steam train noises. Would they be appropriate? No, they wouldn't be appropriate. Okay. <laughs> no? Is there uh, a don't you hear uh, the maglev running right now? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Um, there is a little bit of a, 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 a neck... A neck Anachronistic, anachron, anachronism. Is that yeah? Anachronism. Uh, thank you. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. Uh, anachronism. Um, in fact, the uh, the train as it goes, it, as it goes to uh, every, or, yeah, as all aboard type thing. It's got an old-fashioned steam whistle. That seems to be your seems favourite, favourite soundbite. Sound <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, no, no. My favourite soundbite is. <laughs> yeah, it's actually that's true. Yeah. Or this S one. Second, second favourite. You just have to blow everything up, don't you, Matt? I thought it was his mail. Down. Oh yeah. <laughs> yes. Anywho. Ah. Anywho. Um, so yes, uh, so the train a train pulls out precisely uh, at uh, eight oh seven local time, uh, and heads off. Um, it's pretty silent running. It's pretty comfortable. There's there's, there's no bumps, obviously, um, and uh, and heads and heads on its several day trip to um, uh, uh, Quartz Landing, Quartz Depression. So what do you guys want to do? Do you guys want to uh, make sure that we don't all sleep at the same time? That's a good idea. God you, God, you are paranoid. I'm surprised that people were happy not being in the middle of the train, to be honest. Like, the paranoia is not a top level. <laughs> Anyhow. Um, Anyhow. Cat doesn't feel the need to do a watch, but she'll participate if people want to. Well, not a watch, just so that not everybody's asleep at the same time. I can't seem to locate isn't, isn't the uh, steam bath. No, there is no steam bath. <laughs> oh. Maybe the 3D there is, movie. There is, there, is, there, is, there, is a, there is a there is a sonic shower at the uh, um one of those closed off rooms in the end of each um, of the sleeping cars is a sonic shower. The other ones are, the other ones are a toilet. I wonder how Sonic. I wonder how that feels to Dralicide, who's just this blob. Well, how does a hot shower feel to a human with the hot with the water pressure? Yeah, but you're just a blob. Yeah, well, you're a blob. You're uh, you gotta get idiot. the vibration going just right. Yeah, well, it's up I, to you. I, I kind of. Work. So I see the music area. Is that is that like karaoke? Um, no, it's it, it's just uh, video music. Um, uh, list, uh, yeah, you can listen to music with headphones or um, hologram stage watch thing. Holograms, things like that. Yeah. No, it's uh, not hologram. Well, I'll I'll hang out in the bar for the most part. Okay. Hey, what's everybody else doing? Um, uh, if we're doing um, 
shifts where not everyone's sleeping all the time. Uh, Jazz will, as usual, be awake uh, during the, the nighttime hours, and I think Jazz will hang on the bar as well. Okay. I am currently sleeping. Back and forth between the bar and music. Yeah, okay. All right, so between the entertainment, you're basically in the entertainment area space then. All right. You're sleeping, you see, Blake? What's Cat doing? Uh, she'll watch a 3D movie. Okay. The doc will do some uh, ro crafts. Uh, ro uh, Rocky 237's on. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Sorry, couldn't resist. Uh, the classic. What about you, Babu? Babu's gonna hang out in the restaurant. He's gonna eat some good food, relax. He might even go to bed on time and just sleep. Yeah. Okay. So if there's, there's a lot, number of people around. Um, uh, the uh, the um, the sack people come in and sit sit down in the restaurant, not too far from you, Babu. Um, and in the bar area, there is um, a the one individual of note, I suppose you would call it, is um, a dralocyte. Um, he is um, shuffling a deck of cards and offering to uh, play a few hands with people. Um, so, yeah. Um, and he, he, he wanders over towards he wanders over towards you, it's you and you, Cerise, and you, um, um, Jazz. whoever else was in the bar. Jazz, thank you. Sorry, I couldn't think he was in the bar. Sorry. Uh, and he says, uh, Morning. Buddha is my name. Can you care, care for a, a friendly game of uh, poker or, or something else? He says. Jazz will play. Yeah, sure. I'll, I'll watch. Yeah. I don't know how to play. Excellent. Or so Excellent. I say. I'll say so. Uh, Care to uh, care to make it um, interesting with a small wager? He says. Yeah, why not? It wouldn't be a game okay. without uh, some money on the line. Okay. Well, he's quite happy to sit down with you, and uh, he shuffles the deck and offers the offers the deck for you to cut. All right. Mm -hmm. Jazz will play along. Okay. And how much how, how much would you like to bet? Uh, let's put ten thousand credits. <laughs> I've got this credit chip. <laughs> um, actually, I don't remember where I have this credit chip. I have the ten thousand credit. Yeah, chip. I think you have a credit chip and I have a credit chip. We got it. We got bribed. Oh, right. Yes, that's right. Um, um, Jazz will put down say fifty credits. Okay. Uh, Blue door matches you. Okay. Uh, if you want to roll me percentile dice. Please, and then I'll roll percentile dice, right. and the highest one wins, basically. So this is the time he wants to roll a hundred. Yes. Yeah. Right, you got sixty-six. Our friend got blue door got a uh, hundred. Nope. Uh, so he wins. So you lose fifty credits. Yikes. That's fine. Okay. Uh, another hand? Win your money back? Yeah, let's double. Let's do 100. 100 credits out, eh? Okay. Can I watch and yeah. see if I can tell he's cheating? Uh, what would you be using to do that with? I'm looking to see if the cards are marked or if he is palm dealing off the bottom of the deck. Something like that. Um... Sure, uh, you can do that. Uh, although he, he does hand the deck to um, deck to J uh, to Jazz to do with his hand, but yeah, you can c uh, keep it. Uh, uh, give me a spot check, will you, for that one when you when you do it? Which would be search, 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 search spot. Same thing. Sorry, I keep forgetting. Uh, no, you are not successful in noticing whether he's doing it off the bottom of the deck or cheating in any way. Okay, he gets a he gets a hundred again, and so do you. So does Jazz. Okay, so re-roll again. 
Oops, I want two dice, not one. <laughs> Jazz is typically bad rolling is uh, kind of shiny well, right now. Well, your your four of uh, your your four of ace uh, your four of aces loses out to his royal flush. What do you? We should beat this guy up. <laughs> Oh, uh, who would have who would have thunk it? He says. Who would have thunk it? He says. Uh, one one more hand. Yeah. That's pretty amazing. Um. Let's see. Is there a way to? Is there some kind of like? What's the equivalent of sense motive? Like trying to? Um, oh, intuition. Can I do some yeah, kind of yeah, check to? Uh, yeah, intuition. Intuition would be. Intuition would be your, yeah, you, you, how your intuition goes, but yeah, it's probably the closest one. You could deal the cards, of course. He just did. He is dealing the cards. The dude's swiping out his cards, most likely. So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, well, he's, he's so based no upon the two hands we've... That is true, he has <laughs> no... Based upon the hands we've played so far, can I do an intuition to kind of gauge and see if he's being deceitful? If you want to play a third hand, yeah. All right, let's play a third hand. Okay. Uh, let's right. go for another hundred. Okay. He matches your he matches your bet. Um, he uh, he deals you the cards. Do you want your you, you, you want to take your, when do you want to take your intuition check? When do you want to take your spot check? Like basically as we're as we're playing. Right. Okay. But here's the percentage rule first, which isn't very good. And here's an intuition check, <laughs> which is great. which is not so good. Which is not so good. Um, yeah, look, um, you've only got a pair, but he's only got a higher pair, but he still wins. Um, but he's he's particularly he's he's a, he's a good gambler, looks like. All but right. Well, I've hunt. lost. Yeah, I've lost two hundred fifty. Okay. Well, that 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 takes a couple of that, that, that's a couple of hours worth of playing, basically. Okay. Um, All right. So to, 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 you know. so um, no, uh, you don't. You, you can't. None of well, neither of you can detect if he's cheating or not. Um, but you don't see how he would be. He's got nowhere to stash cards. He's very open with his movements. Uh, he's not dealing from the bottom of the deck. Um, I mean, it's obvious he's not dealing from the bottom of the deck because often the deck is sitting on the on the table and flicking cards off the top. Uh, when he when he's dealing, um, so you don't know how he could be cheating. He may just be a very good poker player. Something with the card. Well, I'll thank him for the game and uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> and congratulate him on, uh, on his skill. Oh, I win. Well, do, do I have, have uh, perhaps you have better luck uh, tonight later tonight or maybe perhaps tomorrow? He says. But it, yes, it's very pleasant. Life. Very, 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 very uh, pleased to meet you, um, Jared, and you, Miss um, Miss Celeste, Miss Celeste. Uh, Miss. I will ask him. Uh, mm -hmm. you know, are, are you a professional poker player by any chance? Oh, I. Uh, I don't know if I. Because I'm just curious. Because if you are, I mean, I probably would want to follow you on the what do you ever call it, whatever you call the equivalent of YouTube, Twitter, because. <laughs> Twitter, because <laughs> I'm impressed. Yeah, well, I, I, I do make my living. Um, I, I, I travel the, I travel the trains, uh, engaging in, in people, and uh, I make enough to, not have to do anything else. Put it that way, he says. Oh, not not the uh, not uh, planet wide tournaments or anything like that. Oh, I've been in a couple of tournaments, um, but uh, yeah, I've won one or two. Okay. So, what do you I think of the people be. on the train this time? I think they're very profitable for me. Thank you very much. He says, looking at Jazz. Jazz looks I think I think the the, the typical typical members of the typical members who tra people typical citizens of Qatar who travel on the train. Um, I'll engage. I'll engage. Hopefully, engage some more over the, the trip, and uh, we'll see what happens. Alright, well thanks for the game. That's alright. Um, does anyone want to do anything? 
Mm-hmm. Is he staying well, we in have a first dis- class cabin or is he just. Uh, There's no such you're thing. You're They're all first class cabins. Okay. The, um, the film crew. We want to try to. Yeah, they're, the, them. they're in the They're in the dining car at the moment. Not the, yeah, so you, so you, don't, you, you haven't seen them. You're in the bar, remember? Right. I, I don't know how much time is passing here. I, I'm assuming. Oh, a couple of hours. So yeah, after after Jazz is done with his game and stuff, I want to go see if I can uh, find the film crew. Well, the film, as I said, the film crew are in the restaurant, and um, it's getting close to lunchtime. So um, you also note the Babu is in the restaurant, uh, not too far from the film crew. Um, so yeah. But they're over, they're over on they're over on on uh, one of the round uh, the semicircular tables against the um against the side they're looking out and advi- admiring the vi- admiring the uh, the scenery as it goes past. What it species? Is really spectacular scenery. Hey, what was that? What species? Um, there's uh, a Vrusk and two humans, male Vrusk and two female two female humans. How are the are, are most of the tables taken? Are there lots of open tables? Oh, they're about half full, I suppose, at the moment. I'll sit at the table next to them. Okay. Look at the window or the one of the round ones. Uh, one of the round ones, I guess. Unless that's okay. Un- uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. Um, they're chatting uh, about family life, about work, about whatever, you know, they seem to have been, they seem to be, they seem to know each other quite well, and they've been, obviously they've been a crew, they've been a crew for a while, um, you know, they're not doing, yeah, uh, they're just sitting there, okay, th- um, the, one of the, f- one of the female humans is, is casually, um, uh, glancing at the, at, at the menu, trying to work out, I suppose, what she'll have for lunch, uh, in a while, but, uh, uh, they've all got coffees in front of them. Uh, so, so yeah, I'll I'll yeah. Um, look around at the other people at the other tables and the the other ones close to me and and kind of uh, maybe frown a little bit at the other ones and and look at look at them and say, excuse me, um, by chance, this is the first time I've been on the the trans global uh, monorail here. I'm wondering if uh, there might be something on the menu that. Um, is better than enough, better than something else. Well, you the, uh, yeah, okay, so um, the the uh, the crew, you know, doesn't matter who, um, basically goes, yeah, there's a couple of the nice things you might you might uh, try the blah 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 blah, blah uh, or the <laughs> whatever. Yeah, they they point out a few things and. So tourists, are, uh, tourists to our our um, our planet, I take it. Says one of them. Uh, yeah, yeah. The timing, uh, a little interesting, but uh, yeah, came from off planet, and we're just uh, I'm just staring around, seeing uh, seeing uh, the wonderful planet. It's pretty amazing. Yeah, well, pointing out the window, you know, gesturing out the window. The, sp- the scenery is spectacular, isn't it? It's only going to get better as we get higher. Um, so, uh, so yeah, it's uh, in- it's in- an interesting, an interesting time to be here. But don't let that wreck your holiday. Uh, I'm sure you're on holiday. Yes, yes. Oh, what uh, I, I saw, I think I saw you earlier. You guys work for the the news conglomerate, is that right? Yes, yes, we yes we 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 work for Sesak Ha. Huh? Um, we're uh, we're on our way to uh, court suppression for the uh, the funeral. I'm assuming you know about the funeral. Yeah, yeah, I heard about that. Um, that might that's I could definitely see that uh, being newsworthy. Yes, yes. Well, hopefully, hopefully once it's uh, once it's out of the way, the uh, the troubles back in uh, Corsa City will settle down. So. So, um, 
how much information or has there been anything about Le, Lagrange and having a different name than his parents by chance? No, that was very unusual. Um, very newsworthy, says one of the humans. Uh, very newsworthy. Um, we'll try and we'll, we're going to try and see if we can get an interview with Lagrange's parents if we can um, when we're in the in the uh, in the landing. But uh, we'll just have to wait and see. Now in the profession, I'm sorry, that was my fault. My fault. Um, I'd be most curious uh, when he uh, uh, changed his name. If maybe he did that when he went to medical school, or when he left, or I don't know. No, it's very, very unusual. Um, very, very unusual. So yeah. Do you know yeah. when he changed his name out of curiosity? Well, I don't. Uh, no, neither do I. No. I thought I heard. I thought I heard it was when he when he moved off planet, but uh, but I might, I'm not. That's more of a rumor than anything else. I think are the three answers you get. Okay. I don't know what else to talk to him about. Maybe start asking him about the scenery. And yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I, I'll leave it at that. Okay. No worries. Anyone else want to do anything before lunch? I uh, do. Nope. nope. Okay. Well, the rest of the day travel. The rest of the day travels on pretty much um, um, uh, as you go. Um, a couple of you do note um, there's a couple of humans. Uh, they look like possibly miners or something like that on the train, and and they give the. Uh, they give the other the, the other Vrusk passengers um, hostile looks occasionally, including Cerise and including the um, Sac uh, the Sac Vrusk. And there's other Vrusk on the train as well. There's, there's you know. Um, so yeah. Um, so uh, but no, the the, the, the train the train trip is very very pleasant, um, uh, very quick. Uh, obviously, um, where's the map? Uh, where's goes the city? Hang on, let me blow that up so I can see what I'm talking about. Okay, so goes the city. So uh, one, two, um, yeah. So, uh, hang on. All right. Um, early the next morning, around about again, around about seven thirty-ish or the equivalent, uh, the train pulls into Hyper uh, Hyperion. I think that's how it's pronounced. Um, on the edge of the Azurian Sea. So you've been travelling on the edge of the Yazo Sea, um, and you've reached Hyperion. Uh, the train's heading down towards <laughs> which is the um, the one to the south in the high country um, uh, is where the train's going the next day. Um, anyone want to do anything on day two? Um, the train stops at uh, Hyperion for a, about an hour or so. Um, it's low-level country, as you know, so you can get out and have a you can get out of the train and and have a look around, but just be back in time before it leaves, basically. Do you want to, anyone want to get out? Yeah, just a quick stretch is all. Okay. Well, yeah, I'll again, get out um, to watch. Yeah. Um, I'm it's also curious as to meeting the other passengers on the train. Yeah. Or observing um, well you them. Do, yeah. Well, you can do that throughout the throughout the, the yesterday and and today. Um, some of the passengers leave. Some of the new passengers get on. No ones of any particular interest. Um, uh, they they just look like whatever. Some of them are friendly. Some of them aren't. Um. Yeah, most of, most of them are, are, are pretty non nondescript in terms of uh, of what you may be interested in. Um, the, 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 the town itself is um, same type of style as um, Gaza City or Gaza City, um, but uh, obviously not quite as big. Um, but yeah, um, what else can I tell you? Um, um, yeah, it's about all I can tell you really. 
And if you want anything particular you want to know about or whatever. Um, there does not seem to be any or as much unrest here um, as there was in Gaza City. So, you know, um, there's some, but not as much. And obviously, you're not attacked, Cerise, put it that way. Um, yeah. Um, any, anything else you want to cover off? No, no, not really. Okay. Well, um, so day two is pretty much the same. Um, uh, Lidor um, is, is still trying to uh, find people to play with. Sometimes he's successful, sometimes he's not. Um, you, you Throughout the day, um, you hear a few mutters from a few people who have played in about you know, luck or sometimes a little bit darker mutterings, shall we say. Uh, so apparently Blidor is doing particularly well. Uh, <laughs> I bet you the uh, cards have two faces to them, but only on one side. That's what I'm going with. Yeah, hang on a sec. I mean, I, it's the only thing I can think of. Uh, I've seen some guys on New Vegas that they can do some amazing things with corn, coins and cards. So, yeah. Sorry, sorry. I just I just got handed half a half a um, donut sponge. Afternoon tea. <laughs> apparently my sister. My, apparently my sister's here because she's the only one who brings these things, and which means she's probably got the dog with her. No oh idea. Anyway, um, so yeah. Um, anyone pick again? Um, so the 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 um the uh, the train pulls out. Uh, and heads up into the highlands, um, and uh, and so on. Um, where's the key? Yeah, heads into the desert. Sorry, uh, and the uplands and the de upland deserts. And the the, the 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 obviously the scenery changes, and it's still spectacular. Um, the reasonably late in the afternoon, you hit Split uh, Splitifs, you know, which is a desert town in the highlands. Again, this is about an hour. An hour stop here um, before hitting on. Uh, do you guys want to get out and have a look, see, and check it out? If so, you will need, and there are signs, lit signs on the exit saying, uh, breathing apparatus is required. No, I'm good. Uh, okay. I'm good. I'm just going to double check our stuff isn't getting stolen. Uh, well, I I where's your stuff? In the cargo holds or in your room? Uh, probably in our rooms, right? Yeah. Well, Wherever the lockers room. are. Well, there's, there's the well, keys. The rooms can be locked. Yeah. yeah. The rooms, your r sleeping cabins can be locked, so. And yes, your gear has not gone walkabout. So. Sorry, Australian term for, go for going for a walk. Going walkabout. The Aboriginals used to go walkabout for five or six days and just go for a wander. Just go for a walk. <laughs> for those who, who don't understand Aussie slang. We uh, subscribe to a monthly bark box for our puppy. And this oh month, yeah. uh, it was Australian. It came today. We had a wombat and a, a wombat squeaky and a kangaroo. <laughs> what does that cost you? I don't know. My wife orders it. I don't want to know. Don't ask questions if you don't want the answer. Yes, I can understand that. I can appreciate that too. She says yeah, she gets a great deal on it. Yeah. Ben, didn't you say you were get you were going to get a bark box for your kid for your kid? Uh, maybe. I thought I said you were going to get one. That's all. Hmm. Yeah. Anyway, it's it's no it sounds like something that I would do. So I might it have is. said that That's at some point, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it does sound something like you would do. Oh dear. Okay. But after after stopping at the station for about an hour or so, the train pulls out and heads um, heads south and then southwest and then uh, sorry south and southeast and south and then east of course, heading for 
Um, I can't even read that. No, sorry, I can't read it. Hang on, yes, I can. Heading four. Uh, Stimdag. We're pulling out of Hift Hifties and heading for Stimdag. After being at Gwydon. So it goes, to city, uh, goes off City, Gwydon, Hifteszitz, and then Stimdag. Yes, that's a mouthful. Yes, it's a pain in the butt. Um. Hmm. So, morning of the third day, again, another pleasant evening at the restaurant uh, and watching entertainment and doing everything else you've been doing. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, I'll just spend some more time talking to the uh, SAC crew. Okay. Okay. Maybe well, speculating uh, with them about Lagrange and why he changed his name and. Maybe yeah, well talk about them if they knew about that rumor about when he was at med school. There was some rumor, wasn't there? Well, they don't seem to know much. I mean, they know about it as much as you do, but they're quite happy to talk to you about it. And, and in fact, they sort of kind of adopt you, sort of, kind of, you know what I mean? Um, Susie Q is the, uh, human, is the human director um, of the crew. Um, um, Jennifer Lawrence, no, not Jennifer Lawrence, sorry, actually that was a mistake. Uh, Jennifer, uh, Jennifer Smythe. Um, is the uh, is what is a human what is a human technician, um, and is this Zich Kachak Hack? Don't ask me how to pronounce that again. Uh, he, he's the male male Rusk. Uh, he's a technician as well. Um, what they plan to do is um, because the because of the anti Rusk stance of um, Larange and obviously some of his supporters um, or some of his fans, if you prefer. Um, Sisak uh, is going to um, stay back at the station and monitor the transmission, uh, and uh, the two humans are going up with a camera, and uh, and uh, obviously the camera is going to transmit back to the station. Uh, that's are the they plan anyway. So. Expecting there to be trouble there in the city for no, us. But why 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 uh, why antagonise things? We don't have to. You know? Well, would it be it's safe it's for me to thing. wander around the city? Oh, what, uh, Quartz Landing? Quartz Depression? Yeah. Uh, probably, pr pr probably, but I'd, I wouldn't go to the funeral if I were you. Says, oh, well, so they, they yeah. Like, you know, Any idea what else? I don't even know where the funeral is in town. Um, well, they're assuming that the funeral's going to be um, at the local place of worship local church well I'll make sure to give that a wide berth yeah yeah I mean, yeah who, who, who needs to who needs to draw trouble to themselves they say so does he anyway. keep his shell nice and waxed oh yeah he's quite attractive if that's what you're asking yeah 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 Anyway, at some stage during the day, um, along the corridor from you guys, um, tell you what, um, y you're not generally doing things as a group, are you? You're generally doing things by yourselves, aren't you? Yes. I think so. All right, well, why don't you all give me a spot check, please? Or a search roll, I should say. Same thing. Oops, I did it twice again. It's all right. First one. Okay. User disconnected from your channel. Who'd we lose? Doc. Paul. So anyone who made that? Uh, the only way I didn't make that is not included in this next part, okay? 
So Vogue's out, Cat's out. Well, my no, first one I made. First time. Mm, hi, Paul. Um, everyone, everyone except Cat and Vogue uh, is, is within earshot of what's, what's, of what's going down, okay? So those of you who made your search checks, um, you hear, uh, you're over here coming from the corridor, from, uh, you know, down, down from where you happen to be, uh, you hear um, some insults such as, watch it bug, you've not taken over yet, and then followed by the sound of a scuffle. I'll look do? into the hallway. Okay, um, so I kick, I kick a hat, and two, the two human miners, whatever they were, uh, appear to be in a bit of a fist, a bit of a, fi a, a, a fisty cuff, a fifty cuff fight. Uh, and the human seemed to be having the best of it, the best of it. And that's the uh, the camera dude with the camera. That's the technician from the from the crew. Yeah. What do you want guys want to do? Let's get some initiatives, please. I'm assuming that Cat and Vogue don't roll initiative this round. It's like a surprise round. Well, I but my first know, my first know, one was a good one and was a uh, success. Yeah. So My second was it. Yeah, no, uh, that's right, Cat. It, you, 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 Cat and Vogue, uh, Cat and whoever didn't make their part of their thing. What did I say, Cat and? Cat was the yeah, only Cat one who didn't. Paul didn't roll. Doc didn't roll. No, oh, Doc, you need to roll me a spot roll, mate. Please. Is probably the beginning because you were dropping out. Search. Search. Intuition oh, and logic divided by two. Yeah. You there, Paul? You okay, mate? His mic on TeamSpeak is. Uh, yes, I'm like looking at it now. Lost all voice. Yeah, so I can see. Can you hear us though? Yeah. Okay. Give us a roll. So and uh, give us a, a, a spot check. That's okay. Don't worry about it. Just give us a. Just give us a. Um, I said, give us a, a, a half intuition, half whatever. Right, half logic, I think it was. There we go. Uh, you'll need to roll. No, yeah, it, it, it is issues in here. Okay, sweet. Uh, that's great. Um, okay. You you are not aware of what's going on either, either doc, looks like, from this. So, um, it's only the... It's only half the. It's only um, Jazz, Cerise, and Babu, I think. Is that right? Envoke. 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 Okay. So. Um, so initiative start from there. Ceri uh, Jazz, you've got the initiative. You have heard this stuff. You have heard this this go out, this start. What do you want to do? So uh, can you remember again? So is it the the, uh, the crew is being harassed by whom? No, the Vrusk crew. The Vrusk, the Vrusk member of the of the film crew, he's by himself, is being harassed by two the the, the two humans he thought might have been might have been miners, big hecky guys. Uh, okay, so and, a, uh, and the fi an actual fight, actual fist fight has broken out. Oh, so they actually are fighting. Oh, they are now. <laughs> um. Do they, I mean, are they looking like, is there like a pause? Is it like, are they full on? Does it look like if Jazz were to yell something, they would even hear? Or is it just like, they're just all all in it? Oh, they, they, probably, hear, they probably hear you. Whether they take any notice of you is another question. All right. So, so Jazz will um, kind of put his hand on, well, Jazz will intervene and just kind of say, you know, um, try well, to threaten you. Right you know, you're a fair way down the corridor, so you could reach them if you if you were to run. You could reach them, this uh, uh, reach them at the end, yeah, end of the, at the end of this this uh, this round type thing. You couldn't get an attack in this 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 part this initiative pass. Put it that way. Okay, so he'll just run over and just just yell out, uh, you know, leave the brusque alone. Traitor, bug lover. User made, disconnected made from your channel. I lost fair enough. Paul again. Yeah, that's okay. Um, so that's that's your action. Um. Uh, what about you, uh, Vogue? What are you doing? Uh, I'm grabbing my Sonic Center from my stuff. Okay. 
Well, that would that, that would that would that would you take you around again to your room, uh, uh, on uh, around to grab your thing and then around to get back out again. Okay. Yep. Want to do that? Mm-hmm. Okay. Cool. Fourteen. Uh, who's next? That would be you, Cerise, I believe. I will turn on my inertia screen and I will approach them. I'm not running or anything, but I'm approaching. Okay. Them. All right. Um, your boyfriend's getting bashed up. Yep, exactly. Uh, is that everybody? Uh, Babu's Paul. stepping Look. into this, too. You are running? No, I'm moving with purpose. Okay. All right, well, the two thugs, the, the, the two thugs, one of them, um, um, before Jazz can get to them, they lay into um, uh, Sisaka Hitchkaha. How about just calling SH? Or SK? <laughs> From now on. I'm having trouble pronouncing that. Um, and, uh, and, and he's, he's knocked, he's knocked, he, he takes a couple of good, good solid blows, you know, punches to the face, to the head. Um, uh, he's not a really good fighter. Um, he's, he's not a brawler, um, is SK, but these two guys are. Um, as, y as you approach, Jazz, one of them turns and shapes up to you. Um, he's going to have a go at you, know, uh, while the second one continues to lay into um, SK, okay? Um, is anyone, I, 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 does, it, would we like to roll the issues again, please, people? It's always lovely when the surprise round is over, when you failed. Uh, mm -hmm. Ah, nice of you to show up. always feels like that doesn't it yeah it does <laughs> it's like cat was just staring off at a wall somewhere and missed everything that's what she does sorry <laughs> right. i do yes what where is oh, security I Oh, go ahead. Oh, well, I this, just, well, security hasn't had a chance to arrive yet. So, no, uh, where are they back. normally? Where do they? Oh, normally they, 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 they wander the train. They wander up and down the corridors. Sorry, Ben, you were saying sorry. Oh, I just love that my side arm, my slide arm on my wrist, uh, pretty much means that I have a concealed weapon on me all the time, which is great. Um, she will have her little. Uh, Needle a pistol on her slide arm, so just saying that out loud. Yeah, unless you're bad, boo, you, a, uh, a dralocyte, you know, you can't really conceal channel. a what? <laughs> was that Matt that just disappeared? That was. Really anything. No, that was Paul Le who left and then he came. Oh, Matt, if you're speaking, you are not pushing to talk. Didn't realize I'd turn myself off. Um, uh, it's not hard to say now. It's Paul back, um, and he's still having mic problems. Looks like, but see, see you go, Paul. Um, um, I, I, those guys who didn't make their spot check last time, I think you make a, uh, you need to make a spot check again because you still aren't aware, are not aware this is happening. Okay, so that's Jazz and uh, not Jazz. That's just okay, cat. There you go, cat. That's cat, and and Paulo. I think needs some. Uh, sorry. Doc needs to make one as well, I believe. Yes. When he finally gets back on. Okay. Um, so, Kat, you are you are hearing you are hearing the sounds of a fight somewhere on the on the train, ne relatively nearby. So that's fine for you. Uh, like uh, enough that I would know which direction it's in. I don't have. To oh, certainly. Out. Yes, okay, yes, cool. certainly that one. That one. Right. Uh, Vokes on a six. Um, Babu's on an eight. Um, Jazz is on a 10. That's not like you, Jazz. Um, Cat was on a 16. That is like, ca it's not like Cat either, but. Okay, and the thugs are on. Uh, a 100. No, I rolled 2d10 instead of. It wasn't percentile dice, it was 2d10. Uh, I was just teasing because of the card yes, chart. I know you were. And SK is on a 
Uh, okay, so we're ready to get going. Let's get, let's get, get, get Where are you, Doc? Hang on, where are you, Doc? What was that for, Cerise? Give me a roll on the ship. Oh, I must have hit a button by mistake. Hang on. So I don't know if you I don't know if you can hear me, Doc. And if you can, can you give me another spot check, mate? Um, and if you make it, if like if you, if the results are negative, then give me an, an initiative check too, please. Nah, his team speaks muted. Not his mic, but his <laughs> sound. Yeah. Damn. Okay. We'll play it through. There we go. Cat, I think you're up. Uh, she will run towards wherever the okay. couple is going from. Okay. Um, so, um, what you can see, uh, I uh, really when you get close, is, um, yep, gotcha. Paul, gotcha then. Yep, can you hear you? Can you hear us? No, he still has his sound muted, but yeah. he can, he talk, just, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hang on a sec. I hate it when these things happen. Um, uh, you say, you can see Jazz? Yeah, okay. Can you hear Jazz? Uh, Jazz is shaping up to one of those minor, those big minor blokes. Uh, the other one is smacking the hell out of um, a Rusk you recognise as being part of the SAK crew. Um, uh, Vogue's approaching, uh, Vogue's not an hour in sight, um, Cerise is approaching, and Babu are approaching, but then they haven't engaged yet. That's what you see, okay. Cap? Yep. Yep. Uh, given that I just ran in here, and no one's engaged yet, uh, I'm not going to fire while I'm running into a room. On a well, it's a corridor, actually. Oh, it is a corridor? Yeah, it's up near the... It's up near the um, it's up near the sleeping quarter area, somewhere up up in up in that area up there. Uh, it's happening probably in that in that second sleeping car, outside the oh. sleepers outside the sleepers. Okay. Um, she she would uh, draw her sleeper, uh, her sleeper needle or pistol from her little right. light arm, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, get into a good position and just watch to see what happens and let okay. other people who have seen more. She's not going to just shoot. Until she knows what's going on. And see right. Okay. In that case. No worries. Uh, I don't have to end my. Do I have to end my turn? You do have to end your turn, and uh, but basically you are. Um, basically, you're 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 taking up a position at effectively point blank range to shoot at somebody. <laughs> Who's fighting? Uh, I don't notice anybody wearing like skin suits, right? No, everybody's. Um, well, they might be wearing. The, the two humans aren't. Um, I, I don't think Jazz is, or Jazz might be, not wearing a skin suit, are you Jazz? Yeah, he's just got that on normally. But yeah, okay, well have he's got his mil Jazz has got his military suit. skin suit on, but, and, but, uh, but the, the other two, I mean, they could be wearing civilian skin suits, but they're not the type of person to wear skin suits, and the, the Vast doesn't, have, doesn't appear to have anything on either. Okay, cool. Yeah, just, I would take a note of that if I was going to use my needle, because the needles don't go in skin suits, so. Cool, yeah, let's okay. be done. All right, Cerise. So I will yell out for security, and if I can move in and uh, you gonna yell out or you gonna use a comm link? Oh, uh, if the comm link works on the train, I'll use the comm link. Yeah, comm links work. Uh, well, uh, comm links work on any civilized planet, so yes, they would use a all your comm links would be working. So, so they would immediately connect to uh, train security or well, if you if you if you use the emergency channel I'm dare, I dare say yeah then I would I do that I suspect that's my action I'll, I'll move closer if I can yeah, yeah by all means you move closer you don't want to move into combat though do you uh, no just outside of combat reach just outside of combat reach basically so you, you basically pull up beside cat who's got a needle, oh, pist needle pist pistol out yeah? yeah. Is that right? Yep. Right. Yep. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so right. All right. Well, have, have you um, end your turn? If you're ready. Okay. SK uh, takes a wild swing at the guy 
um, the guy he's, he's, he's beaten him up, misses badly, he's definitely, he, he, it's obvious he's not a combat specialist, he's got virtually no combat skill at all, doesn't know what he's doing, and, he's, and he looks, he, he's starting to look panicked, because he's taken a few blows, okay, uh, he misses, uh, Thug One, who is uh, the one that's on SK, um, takes a swing, oh, and really connects really, really well, um, uh, Oh, that's sickening. Um, S SK takes S SK takes K takes another really nasty no knock to the head um, from this bloke. Um, um, if you guys don't intervene, he's going to get him. He's going to get his brains beaten out. Um, this, yeah. So that, that's what these guys. Yeah, that's what's happening. Uh, Jazz, you're fighting Thud too. All right. Uh, Jazz is going to attempt to. Um, Rage? In him. Wrestling. <laughs> yeah, that's right, Rage. User disconnected uh, from your channel. I tagged you up Did we do someone? Yeah. yeah, we did. No, you, yeah. you, you did not. Yeah, well, it's worth a try. So, yeah, so Jazz. You're going for pin attack, eh? Pin attack, yeah, move. so Jazz does have uh, one level of martial arts. Okay. Um. So I think the User pin attack or channel. wrestling is just a regular, I'm just going to roll a regular, it's regular, regular, it's a regular attack. Yep. Uh, no, you're not. Oh, oh just just with, 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 hang on, no, with your, level of, with your level of martial arts, that would actually make that, um, you no, that, that, that factors in. Oh, you're three factors in, is it? Okay, bugger. So you missed yeah. your attack is what you're telling me. Okay, that's all cool. Yeah. You want to end, end your turn when you're ready? Babu? All right, Babu is going to step in between the two parties here. Okay, well let me let me just let me just refresh. Cat and Cerise are just on the far side. They're on the far side of of of, of the fight. Um, Jazz is in. Uh, Jazz is taking a swing at this thug. The thug is taking a swing at Jazz. Um, and SK is getting his head, he's getting his brains beaten out. Um, he's still on his feet, but only just by the other thug. So you've come in from the other side. Okay. Well, like I said, I'd like Good, to try to get sure. between SK and the thugs, so that All right. we'll have to they have to go through me to get to him. Okay. Oh, you, 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 bug, you rotten bug lover, and basically, yeah, they, they're swinging insults at you guys as well. So you'll have to attack, you'll have to attack um, uh, thug one to get in, to get in between him and, and SK. All right. That'll work. Uh, just a fisticuff attack? Just a fisticuff, fisticuff attack? Yep. Okay, punch away. Yeah, well you 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 mean nope. between them, but you you're not, you're not very good at it. Put it that way. Sorry, mate. Uh, but you 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 have certainly taken there some of the attention off off um off uh, SK in that regard. Uh, so uh, thank you. Uh, Thug two is going to um obviously attack um Jazz back. Uh, And is successful. Um, oh, that's what I wanted. Sorry, wrong guys. Um, does a full eleven points of damage to you, Jazz? And I also need you to roll me a. Uh, once your stamina has been taken down, I need you to roll me a stamina check because it's a knockout blow, possibly. Um, okay. What was the a damage again? It's just a punch. A oh, no. Yeah, it's a punch. Yeah, yeah, but this guy's got brass knuckles. Wow. Oh, um, he's so got brass knuckles. I didn't realize he was armed. Okay. Um, yeah, well, you didn't, we so didn't, see, it until, you didn't see it until it hit your chin. <laughs> right. Right. Uh, so eleven, so six point goes to the skin suit. Uh, no. Or no. Yeah, well, yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah, six points goes to the skin suit. Five points to you. Although technically, it was a shot to your chin, so that's okay. We'll take it that way. It's all good. Just become a drallocyte. That way, you don't have. Whenever you get smacked in the chin, your skin suit's always. All right, uh, Jazz gets knocked out. Yeah. 
Jazz, jazz falls to the floor. Hey, sorry. Jazz goes down. Jazz goes down. Yeah, jazz goes down. Sorry, mate. Um, Voke. I, well, I did. I get my slot. It takes me two rounds to get it, or am I back in two rounds? No, 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 no. It was one round to get to your, in your room, one round to get your Sonic Stunner, and then one round to get to the fight. So you now have your Sonic Stunner in hand. Okay. Or Stun Stick, whatever it was you were going for. What were you going for? I can't remember. Uh, Sonic Stun. All right. Grenade uh, launcher. So, eh, they don't allow so. me to have that on planet, unfortunately. Right. Paul, are you back? I think I got it. Yep, sounds good. Okay, mate, can you make me a spot check, please? Search, yeah. Search, yep. So, yeah, search. Same thing. Sorry, I, I, too many games, too many game systems in my head. <laughs> okay, so you you don't get to well, whatever it is I was looking for. I guess I didn't find it. No, no. Well, basically, you are not aware that the fight's going on yet. Okay, so we're going into round. We're going into. If you want to hit the end turn, oh, I can do it, don't I? Um, so if you if every, if Paul, can you give me another spot check to see whether you're aware of what's happening this round, please? Yes, you are, you are aware there's some sort of fight going on out, out in the hallways, okay? And I'll get initials of everybody. Thank you for starting that, Cerise. Including you, Paul. Okay, so it's 12 for Cerise. And 8 for Voke. And 6 for the Boo. Um, and 16 for the dock. Okay, um, who hasn't rolled? Cat. Cat's um, AFK. Yeah, I know. Um, we'll roll two dice for the thugs. And... And and only p and I need one for SK. Okay. Okay. So vote. Uh, so uh, I've got to wait for cat. So cat. <laughs> okay. So um. Doc, you're going first. You don't know what's going on yet. What do you want to do? Well, I'm assuming I was probably not there. So I hear something, so I'm going to go out into the hall, and I see, I guess, someone down on the floor. Okay, yes, you do. You see you see Jazz down on the floor. Okay, I one will of go to help. Oh, hang, on, hang on, let me finish. Um, he's at the feet of uh, one of the... Um, uh, uh, Big mine, big blokes. You you thought were was a was possibly one of the miners. Um, it looks like the miners just just dropped uh, just dropped him, as in just knocked him out. That's what it looks like. You can also so the miners standing over the top of him. Um, just past where you can see, you can see um, Cat with a um, a needle pistol in her hand, and uh, Cerise has just got her her hand up to her. Um, uh, uh, comm unit, so she's probably just about to or just called somebody on the comm unit. Um, in the fight with the miner, there's a second miner who's taking on both Babu and the Vrusk from the news crew. Um, the Vrusk from the news crew doesn't look that he that doesn't look that, that, that good. He looks like he's taken a few blows. Um, on this side um, is yourself and um, there's no sign of Voke around, okay? But for you to get to Jazz, you're going to have to get into the fight. Okay, so be it. I'm heading into the fight because Jazz is down. Okay, is that. So if you want to... Oh, uh, that was your turn. So if you want to end your turn, that would be great. Cat, you've just seen Jazz go down like a, like a sack of spuds. Uh... I imagine Babu looks really relieved, so he's not going to get caught in the crossfire as usual. Um, jokes. I don't know. Um, <laughs> it's, all, it's, all, it's, all a it's all a big melee fight in the corridor at the moment. 
All right. Uh, she's going to. So, is there one in particular that's closer to her? Uh, actually, the one that yeah, the, one the one. Oh yes, you go. Sorry. I was going to say the one that just dropped jazz would be the one more appropriate if you're looking for a target. Yep, yep. Uh, I was going to choose that one if there was no difference between them. Uh, so yeah, mm -hmm. I'll take a shot at right. uh, that. So um, you're within a couple. You're within a couple of meters. I don't know what point blank range is for Needler. That's a good question. I thought it was five, uh, but let me well look that up. Yeah, well, if you if you stay outside five, so see how you go that one. While you're doing that, Cerise, what did you actually say on the comlink? Um, sec yeah. sec oh. Security needed in the corridor. We have a melee f a fight. Guys, in the sleeping corridor. Guys, I need to take a quick five minutes. Sorry. I've got to fix something for Dad. No problem. So yeah, no you, problem. Yeah, all right, I'll back, I'll back in five. Definitely short range. Cool. Shoot them. Just shoot them all. Oh, have all the modifiers disappeared? Yeah, I know. I looked at that too and I was like, oh, I use those. Yeah, I use them so much. Like, I, I don't remember anything for these modifiers because I rely uh, on the Careful aim. And careful that's aim about it for this. 15? Careful aim is 15, yeah. Now, do I take careful aim or do I take three shots? Three shots. These guys Especially are, gonna, they're gonna make their stamina saves. Oh, they're big and beefy, are they? Yeah, they're miners. Yeah, okay. Yeah, and the uh, the problem with the uh, sleep darts is that they're only 1d10 rather than 2d10, so... And just as an aside, an interesting note of my day, worked on my car this morning in a t-shirt, and wife barely made it home in the blizzard we had this afternoon. <laughs> yeah. Reminds me of Denver. <laughs> we had a uh, snowstorm when, when Ryan was tiny. Uh, where we had something like 40 inches, buried my car in the front yard, but then within four days it was gone, except under the trees, maybe three days. It just all melted away. Sorry, time. sorry, guys. I forgot I hadn't plugged Dad's computer back in when I did the cabling. I just had to grab a cable and plug him in so he can 
watch his eye view on computer. Ah, uh, bugger. Right, that's that. Let's just get, just get myself settled back in my web of cable. Because I literally have cable going literally everywhere. Right, here we go. So, uh, where were we? Cat, you are going to shoot someone. Uh, yep, uh, Cat was going to take uh, three shots at short range. Are you short range? Or was it point blank? Uh, you, point blank is zero to five, six to ten is short range. And you said it was yeah, just okay, out of five, no. right? Yeah, just just inside five, I said. Oh, just inside five. Excellent. Yes. So, yes. no penalties. Brilliant. Uh, three. And I've got to, I've got to call them all at the one target, right? I can't. Well, no, you can them up, but if you if, if you go to a second target, it's minus ten. If you go to a yeah, third yeah. target, it's minus four. It's minus twenty. Yeah, I'll go all at one target. Okay. And what have you got loaded? Uh, sleep dots, so they're 1d10 and there's a stamina oh, check. Check, yeah, that's cool. So you're basically loading this guy up with horse drink. <laughs> well, you hit, only just. So a point, and I'll roll, I'll roll the. And your second shot. That's a hit. Two points of damage. And your third shot? Ah, uh, that's a miss. A miss, but that's not a, a critical miss. miss. Yeah. Not a critical miss, so you don't hit anyone else, but you are fine. But, but, but um, Doc, um, a bunch of darts fly past you as you as you uh, approach the fight. Um, but that's okay. Uh, so, right. stamina check for this guy. Stamina check for this guy. Uh huh. And the second stamina check for the second set of darts. I mean, I expected him to pass these stamina checks, but I also expected to do more than two damage, so go figure. Yeah. Maybe we'll get surprised. Um, yeah, no, look, um, he, he, he basically brushes off the darts um, and, and, and looks at you, and he's going to he's going to charge you. He doesn't like being hit. And he's, and, he, and, and as, he do, as he's going to do that, he's calling you a, tra he's calling you a traitor, a traitor, to the, a, a traitor to the human race. Okay, so end your turn, please. So if you have got this guy charging towards the pair of you, um, he seems to be concentrating. Well, he doesn't know who he wants to concentrate on because he's got a Vusk in front of him and he's got a human that shot him. So, you know, he might try and take both of you down at this stage. What do you want to do? And, and oh before I you do that, what did you before you do that? What did you say to the? Uh, what did you What did you say on the comlink, please? Security needed in the sleeping quarters. There's a, a fight. Okay. Um, basically, basically. Um, uh, you hear right. We're on our way. Come back over the, come back over the 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 the, the com link. Okay. Yep. Um, okay. So, so, what do you want to do? I assume I'm not carrying my knife, right? I assume you not wouldn't be carrying your knife either. No. Okay. I will uh, try and punch the guy. Okay. So when he so when he gets close, you're gonna try and punch him. Okay. That's fine. Well, I'll step up. Um, I'll step up to him. You gonna step forward? Okay. Yeah, I'll step forward um, if there's room. Yeah, there is. He was going to go for a basically. He was going to try and crash tackle you both to the floor. That's what he was going to do. You stepping forward is going to uh, going to upset that somewhat. Um, so yes, please take your please take your punch at him if that's what you're doing. Yeah, I don't know if I have a roll for melee. Should just be under. Con Mine well, are. You can either, either take it, uh, take a. Um, uh, That's gonna uh, miss. Strength check. You can take, you you can take a strength check or you can take a dex check. It's up to you with melee. Oh, uh, uh, then I'll do that as a dex, so that would hit, because I have a dex of 69. Okay. And okay. then my punch uh, score uh, is just 2. 2? And you, you don't have brass knuckles or anything? No. So just two. So he takes. So you hit him on the. You hit him as he moves forward. End your turn. All right. Thug one um, is the one that's uh, having a go at Babu and or um, SK. Uh, SK is still in combat technically. So um, Thug two is. Go thug one's going to um, again smack S smack SK. He's concentrating on the Vrusk. He doesn't doesn't like the Vrusk. 
uh, and uh, hit CSK again. He's got brass knuckles as well. Um, so um, SK takes another nasty, nasty knock to the head. Um, so yeah, okay. Um, Jazz, who is unconscious on the floor, I believe. Yep, unconscious. Okay. Um, quick to hit with melee is half dex or half strength, actually. Not full strength, full dex. Half dex, half strength, yeah, okay. Doesn't make a difference in this case, but yeah, yeah, it's right, it's half dex, half, or half strength, that's what it was. My, my mistake. Uh, SK takes another swing and misses. Uh, Thug2, uh, who is in the process of uh, lining up for a crash tackle on Cat and on Cerise, uh, is successful and manages to manages to now let's see uh, Kat, can you give me a um, can you give me a um, um, reaction a dex, dex ro a re uh, yeah give me a reaction speed check mate okay Rip. You're, you're you're not successful in getting rid of in, in avoiding the um, in avoiding the, the crash tackle either so the three of you get get knocked to the ground uh, in a in a tumble um, in the middle of the corridor, Thug Two technically is on top. Um, can both Cat and J uh, Cat and Cerise make me a reaction speed check, please? If you fail, you're going to take some damage. If not, you'll be fine. Okay. Wow. Um, so, so Jazz Jazz takes J. Uh, sorry, Cat takes D10 damage in the in the general collapsing fall. <laughs> oh wow. yeah, great. Thanks, Dice. <laughs> Fuck you. Um, <laughs> Cerise, Cerise, you're okay. You landed on Cat. Uh, but technically the thug's on top of you and he's lining up to smack you in the face the next round, okay? Voke, you have just arrived. You've just seen... Um, unfortunately, you're on the far side of this. Um, you've just seen one of these uh, one of these uh, uh, minor go these miners um, crash tackle Cerise into, Cara into Cat and they're all on a pile on the far side of Babu and the Brusque from the news crew uh, fighting one of the other um, uh, uh, um, minor guy, minus dudes, okay? Um, both of the thugs seem to have brass knuckles, so they're doing a bit of damage. The, the uh, guy from the, the Brusque from the news crew doesn't look, too hel doesn't look too steady on his feet. He's taking a few blows. And amongst all that, Doc Perro is scrambling around on the bottom, on the floor of the corridor, trying to get to Jazz amongst all the melee that's going on. Thanks. Okay. Uh, I take. Uh, did I use my movement to get here? Because I want to know if Pretty I can much. take careful aim or not. Uh, no, you can't take careful aim. You can take regular aim, but not careful aim. Okay, I'll uh, shoot I'll shoot the, the guy beating up uh, beating up the technician. Okay, that's Thug 1. You're shooting at Thug 1, that's fine. Um, how far away are you? Uh, I don't know, 10, 15 meters, whatever. It still okay. counts as point blank for me. Ah, gotta okay. love comp- yeah, go on. In that case, take your shot. It's not gonna be that great. Oh, that's a big yikes. Uh huh. What were you using? Sonic Stunner. And you were firing in the melee. Yeah. Okay. You Maybe you just knock out SK. Uh, that might be good or bad. Actually, uh, Babu, I need you to give me a sun uh, the damage from a Sonic Stunner, which is what a. Uh, uh it's a. It, he has an anti shock implant and it does no damage. Oh, aren't you lucky, Babu? What? No. Sonic is... What, is it a Sonic Stunner, or is it Yep, a... Sonic Stunner. Then that sound. And... Yeah, it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Still works. The anti-shock implant works. doesn't let you get stunned. Protects you against shock to your body, I suppose, to your mind. Yeah, that's right. Not just electric... not just electrical shocks. Capitalize that. Oh dear. 
Um, yeah, I know. It's, just, it's one of the quirks of the, it's one of the, quirks of the game, right? Sh you can't get stunned if you've got a sh any shopping plant in, in place. You can't get stunned by weapons. You can still get stunned by physical, like, getting your head smacked in. So, yeah. B1 role-playing okay. games are so broken. Yeah, well, the early ones were. The early games were. I mean, yeah, we're talking, uh, we're talking, this is a fir this is one of the second generation games, and they were, you know, um, so yeah. Anyway, thank you, team, please, folk. Okay. Babu. Alright, I'm going to take this guy down now. Um, if I move in to just grapple him, uh, thug one. That's still yeah, just a normal you. fist attack. Yeah, you're on thug one now, right? Right. Um, but, it, but it's a general. It's a general between thug one, you, and SK. If you get a, if you get a solid attack on him, you can you you can, you'll basically put yourself in between him and SK. But you've got to get a solid hit on him first. Okay. Okay, but can I grapple him and just yes, basically that, 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 hold him? Yeah, that, Pulling it, that would count as pulling him away from SK. That's, that would count as a solid hit. So whether you smack him in the face or grapple him or whatever, you've got yeah. to get the hit in. Okay? So normal fist attacks to grapple him? Yeah, pretty much. No, th there was, uh, same one, so Jazz, just to answer your question, Jazz, uh, there was, came out at the same time, um, um, it was the same company, TSR. It was uh, uh, Top Secret, which was a James Bond style game. It was D one hundred. Yeah, that was a great that yeah. was a great game. And Gangbusters was D one hundred too. Yeah. But they all came out at the same time. They all th those three games all came out. They were all released within a month of each other from memory. Um so yeah. Um yes, you are successful Babu. You managed to, to, to wrap your arms around or grapple um uh, Thug One and so um SK is in inverted commas safe as such. Uh end your term when you're ready. I've got them all, but I've got them all in PDF because I don't have the real ones anymore. <laughs> but yeah. Um, so um, we're going to round three. Um, so I'll get an issue of everybody, please. Babu prefers <laughs> not to waste his good rolls until later. <laughs> Uh, nine for Bab. And 13 for Jazz. So everybody, what about you? Who's missing? Someone's missing. Where's Voke? So there we go, Voke. Damn it, another one. Okay. And the two thugs are on... Uh, uh. There he is. And SK. <laughs> okay, all right, let's go. So, Doc, you're up. You have managed to scramble your way to Jazz. Um, they're still fighting on, still fighting going on literally around you. What do you want to do? Okay, well, I don't know whether, you know, he's been injured or unconscious or whatever, so I ain't got to take his vitals. All right, so well, that's, a, that's a, a diagnostic test, basically, a, diagno a diagnosis. Do, are you using any of your equipment or are you just doing it, doing it bare brain? Yeah, just, just finger to the throat. Okay, so um, go finger to the eye. Okay. Finger to the eye. Followed by the eye. Yeah. Okay. Um, no, it, it, it just it just appears to be unconscious. He's got a nasty bruise on his on his chin, developing a nasty contusion on his chin. So um, based on that and the fact he was in a fist fight and the other his b rest of his vitals look okay, um, you would say he's just he's just unconscious from from being smacked around. Okay, I'll attempt to try to drag him out of there. Okay, so you're going to try to drag him clear. Okay, that's no problem. You'll be dragging him towards um, the, 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 the three guys, the, the um, 
Cerise and Cat and the other thug um, up the hallway a bit, but at least it's that's, that's the clearest way out, at least from, from that. So you'll be in, t in the middle of the two fights. Well, there's technically two fights now. They're about five metres, four, four metres apart, give or take. Okay? Yep. Uh, Jazz, what did you... Oh, you're unconscious. Sorry, sorry. Cerise, you are prone and being grappled by uh, Thug... Uh, thug 2, I believe. Uh, it is. Um, what do you want to do? Do you want to smack him? Do you want to try Yeah, so can I hit him? Free? You can hit him, um, if you want. Dirty bug, he says as he winds up. And I'll yell out, Security, get these hairless orangutans! <laughs> well, you hit him. So, another two points damage, that's okay. Ca uh, end your turn. Cat, you're at the bottom of that pile. What do you want to try and do? Uh, mechanically, uh, would it be like a strength check to wriggle out? Pretty much. There's no, like, nimbleness here or anything. No, because you're um, on the bottom of the pile. They're on top of you, basically. Yeah. All right. Uh, I, that's probably the only real thing that I can do. Did I did I drop my gun in the process? Do you make me make, do you make me a nimbleness check? Uh, I did roll a dexterity check, and it was really good. Did my you? reaction. Yeah, he didn't take damage. No, you did. did. Yeah, no, it's okay. I, no, yeah, I you failed got, you reaction know, speed, but yeah. No, you made your dex check. No, you, you held on to your gun with that dex check, so you still have your gun in your hand. So if you want to wriggle out, it's a strength check. And you've still got your gun in your hand. Or a real point-blank shot. Or a real point, point blank shot, but you're right, just as likely to get Cerise as you are it. No, um, no you, they, with all the fighting that's going on, you're pretty much pinned at the moment still. Um, yeah. You can try again later, of course, but... If you, uh, so, yeah. Uh, SK stumbles back down the hall, away from the fight. Um, and get to get to get basically get out of the fight, okay? Um, and I don't think there's anyone that. Oh, he stumbles down. He stumbles back towards you, uh, Voke. Okay. Oh. Babu, you're grappling with this guy. You want to continue to grapple with this guy? Okay, so I can. You I can, can hold him. Cause yeah. Yes, you can hold him automatically and cause strength damage to him. You punch score to him automatically. Okay. All right. Yeah, I just I just want to hold him and see if he'll calm okay. down a bit. Yeah. Dirty, stinking, bad loving blood. And he's like he's trying to he's trying to get away from you. That's what he's trying to do. He's not he's not giving up. But you say you cause you want to cause the strength damage to him? Yeah. Let's, let's okay. squeeze on him. So what's your punch score, I should say? Not strength damage, punch score? Four. Four. Okay, so you have four points of damage to him. Okay, end your turn. When you're ready. So Thug 1's going to attack you to try and get free. And is not successful. Uh, thug 2 is trying, not trying so much to keep you grappled, Cerise. He's tr actually trying to punch you in the head. Uh, and misses. Vogue. Um, I'll take careful aim and I will shoot at uh, number two. Number two, okay. Alright, okay, he has to do a uh, stamina check. Yep. And he made his stamina check. Damn. Right. And so initiates from everybody, please. Okay, cat got a 14. And Vote got a 10. Better than Should have got my laser pistol. Oh well. <laughs> uh, Doc got a 13. Uh, Babu got an 11. Cerise uh, uh, got a 6. And Jazz got a 14. And the two thugs 
they uh, both get the same thing. And SK Okay, let's go. Jazz, you are unconscious. Cat, you're up. Alright, strength check. Mm -hmm. No one's off me yet. Yep. No, they're still quite on top of you. Okay, you hey. need you manage to get yourself out, and you can get, and I'll give, I'll allow you to get to your feet if you want. I'm assuming you want. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you're on your feet. So then you end your turn. Doc, you've successfully gotten Jazz clear of the fight to either side of you. What do you want to do? Okay. I'll take a quick visual check to see if anyone else is down. Uh, no, no one else is down. Uh, well, well, yes, Babu is down, but he's down voluntarily holding uh, one of the thugs. And at the on the other side, um, uh, Cat has just scrambled out from underneath Cerise, who is down with one of the thugs on top of her, and they're punch punching each other prone, uh, you know, uh, uh, in a prone way. But no one else is down. Okay, but I'll head over. SK uh, sorry, oh yeah. um, the Vrask, the Vrask from the news crew, um, he's clear of the fight on the far side of Babu and um, the thug, uh, not too far from where. Voke is firing what appears to be a, so a sonic stunner into battle, um, and the the the, the Vrust does not look. He looks pretty beat up. He's not unconscious yet, but he's pretty beat up. Okay, I'm gonna head over and try to help Babu. You gonna hit Babu? What are you gonna do? You gonna um, Babu? Well, he's he's on top, right? He's Babu's on top. Yeah, he seems to be grappling the guy below him. Okay, well I will provide assistance. Uh, you're going to grapple him as well, are you? Yeah. Okay, can you give me an attack roll first? Ooh, an attack Let's roll. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, a melee attack roll. Yes, wow. You've managed, to you've managed to successfully grapple the guy, and, and between the two of you, you've effectively got him pinned. Effectively. Okay? Um, SK um, basically leans, once he's clear and quite close to Voke, uh, basically leans against the wall, slides down the wall, and, and sits on the corridor floor uh, with his head back, you know, trying to recover. Okay? Babu, you have been joined by Doc, of all people, in grappling this guy. What do you want to do? I'm going to yell at Doc to sedate him if you can, and I'm going to keep squeezing him. Okay. So that's not so end your turn. That should be what, another four points for him. It is. Babu trying Bag. to convert the dock over to the Church of Violence. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thug one was on top of no thug, thug one's the one on underneath everybody uh, underneath the, the Babu and that uh, he's going to try and break free from at least one of you. Uh, he manages to he manages to wrench his wrench his himself free from you, Doc. But I'm pretty sure you're going to let him go because if you're going to sedate him, you'll need your hands for anyway, so that's not too big a deal. But he's still pin he's still pretty well held by Babu, which is good. Uh, Thug 2 uh, takes another swing at Cerise, all the while cursing and swearing at her, uh, using the most vilest of language. Uh, that's a hit. Uh, and so does uh, nine, uh, 10 points of damage. To all po 11 points of damage, sorry. 11 points of damage, Cerise. Okay, so five because of the stream. Yeah, five because of the stream. Well done. Voke. Another sh uh, Okay, so, well, hang on. Hang on. Um, thug, thug one uh, is currently being grappled by Babu and the dock's there as well. It's, it's a pretty hard shot to make. Yeah, no, nah, I'm shooting number else. two that's going on Ceres. Okay, that's fine. Uh, misses. And his missus. Um, and, and Cerise, what are you doing? I'll punch him. Back. Okay. Sure. Oh, excellent. That's a, that's oh. a potential ch chance for a knockout. Uh, let's see if you knock him out. And he fails his stamina check. He goes unconscious with that, with that punch. 
uh, on top of you. <laughs> End your turn, please. And initiate off everybody when you're ready. Sorry, can you use your <sighs> turn, please? That's my third one. Thank you. So, uh, Cat got a 14. Doc got a 16. Um, Doc got a 16. Um, Vote got a 6. Cerise got a 14. And Babu got a 9. Where are you, Babu? There you go. Um, it was Thug 2, wasn't it, that was we just took out? Yeah, because Thug 1's still fighting, that's right. Um, and Thug. Uh, so, is that right? Everyone in? Cat? Doc? No, no, and Jazz, you're still unconscious, mate, aren't you? Okay. So, Doc, you are you are attempting up. to sedate him. What with? Mm, let's see, what do I have? Yeah, you've got your med kit with you, I'm assuming. I have anesthesia. Good. How about some anesthesia? Well do it well, give me a you better give me a um a, 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 a what do you call it? A, a administer drugs. drug. Yeah, but I'm going to put some penalties on it because he's squirming around. Not that okay. many penalties. Um, yeah, okay, you managed to administer some in, some some, um, some anesthesia. It hasn't quite taken effect yet, but it is. it will by the end of the round, okay? Is so Reece, anesthesia here, like, somehow automated to give the perfect dose and not yes. kill people? Okay. Yes, yes. That, that, that's, that's how... That, it's the high-tech stuff he uses to, to administer it. Cerise, you've got an unconscious guy on top of you. Okay, can I move him off without waking him up? Yeah, it's a strength check, though. Or squiggle out from under him and leave him for cat. I don't. What's easier? It's a strength check either way. Not quite. Cat, what are you doing? All right. If I see Siri struggling there, can I just? push him off yeah it's strength check though Jesus no well you would try lifting a dead weight okay so between Cerise and Cat you managed to get, get this guy off Cerise okay okay uh, end your turn please Uh, and as the guy's struggling to get out from underneath you, uh, out from under you, Babu, he's not successful and he basically passes out. What do you want to do? Babu? Uh, it, what's with Thug 1 now? Has he been shot yet? Or Thug 1's, un Thug one's, un Thug one's unconscious. Apparently the, the doc gave him something. Cool. And then we basically got the situation under control. Yeah, pretty much. And I'll just stand up and just keep an eye on Thug One to make sure he's not shamming and going to try something. But okay, end your turn, please. When you're done. And Vogue, what are you doing when it's your turn? Uh, while well, since Thug One's about to pass. Oh. Well, he actually has passed by now. <laughs> I just uh. Good job, team. Good job. <laughs> and, I, uh, and I asked the the drow, uh, not the drow site, the the brusque, brusque if actually you know I'm I don't have I I say you'll be all right, pal. You'll be all right. Okay. All right. Um, Doc, two questions for you. Yeah. What? What? Um. Uh, did you knock? Did you mark that uh, anesthesia off your list? Yes. Excellent. Two and the, the and SK the, from the news crew looks pretty beaten up. He's sitting against the wall, not too far away. Do you want to do anything for him? 
Yeah, well, uh, my, you know, the priority is always with the budget crew, but everyone else no, may seem to be okay, so I'll go amble over there and take a look at them. Okay. Uh, well, he, he can use some, some general first aid. General and first Jazz aid. Jazz is still unconscious, just saying. And Jazz is still unconscious. So a stim, a stim dose for Jazz would probably help too. Or first aid. Okay, well, or we'll, first aid. Yeah, we'll go over to Jazz and give him the first aid then. All right, so j first aid for Jazz. Jazz, you get 10 points, you get 10 wounds back. Um, and if uh, the doc wants to use a stim dose on you, you'll wake up. Yeah. Oh, the first day doesn't do it automatically. No, not for a knockout like this. It's a stim dose. Yeah, it would only do it if you were down because of being underneath zero health. Mm hmm. That's right. So, do you want to give me a stim? You want to give me a, an administered dr administer drug stim dose, please, Doc? For jazz, that would be fantastic. Oh, the, the stim doses don't need administered drugs. They're just a patch. No, no they don't. They're slap, they're slap yeah. patches. That's right. Um, so, yeah, so your slap patch has been used up. Um, Jazz? Okay. Um, I was going to say, otherwise Kat's been cheating because I think she's administered no, 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 a, a bunch of them. Yeah. <laughs> no, there's, there's, slap patch, there's slap patches. I forgot about that. I forgot about slap patches. Okay. Um, some people have taken damage, including SK. Um, who's who? Who's hurt? Would be the qu next question Doc would be asking. I took nine, nine damage. Down. Yeah, coming to, coming down. So first day would eight. Ouch! It's, it's pretty light. It's pretty light stuff, but it, it's still it's bruises and contusions, contusions and things like that. But they still need to be treated, otherwise the damage doesn't go away. So um, Cerise is down five. Cat's down nine. Jazz wakes up and goes into a rage. Uh, no, you don't. <laughs> um, first up, Cat. Sweet, thank Let's you. Hang on, yeah, well, he's got to roll first and not fail. Ah, uh, um, he did. Uh, he roll the. Yeah, he, he oh, did a really yeah. good roll, yeah. but it could have been a fail. Um, what about you, Babu? You heard it all. Babs, push to talk, mate. I'm glad I'm not the only one today. No, we all do it. We all, you should you should have seen us last week. It was in, it was incredibly amusing. Babu, all right. Well, Cerise needs it, right? Yep, so yep. Do yeah. Right. Are you hurt, Babu? Yeah, go for Cerise. Are you hurt, Babu? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Now, how much are you down? Uh, okay, uh, that's that's two tubes of, um, or three tubes actually of Biocourt, don't forget. One for Jazz, one for Cat, and one for um, Cerise so far. And Babs, you're, you're, being treated, you're being treated, and that's one for Babs. So you get 10 points back, Babs. You d you're still down further? Babu. Yep, that, that gets me good. So I think everyone's everyone's on full health again, aren't they? Uh, cat uh, definitely is. Yeah. Okay. Um. So while Doc's treating, while Doc is treating, um, everybody for f uh, giving first aid to people, and while um y the rest of you are keeping an eye on these two thugs, um, security finally arrives. Um, right. What's been going on here? Who are these two, and why are they unconscious? These two thugs brutally beat up this rusk over here. They got brass knuckles. Uh, uh -huh. Is that is that right, sir? He says one of the um, security guys to SK. SK is still a bit woozy because uh, he hasn't gotten any first aid yet. Hint, hint. <laughs> <laughs> Don't look at cat. <gasps> I'm not gonna get that. Quick, stab him with a syringe. I think he's a bite I don't know if he's gonna get Medicare for all. So. Uh, let's not let's not get let's not go there. Let's keep that out of it for the game. We had enough trouble last right, week when right, we got right. into that type of thing. Um, I'll admit so, it. Uh, here's the drugs, Excellent, thank you. Um, 
Yeah, that's, that's, oh. that's pretty important. Nope, Next, that, that's fine. Just. 90 yeah, sits and up is back. Yeah. Um, yes, yeah, yeah, they just attacked me out of nowhere. They're calling, they were, they were terrible. Anyway, so, I'll cut this, I'll, I'll cut this short. The, 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 the guys, uh, the security guards eventually believe the general story, so I will tend to, to, to hang out. Um, they thank you for... Thank you for, 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 for help, but sort of give in that type of thanks. But listen, next time leave it to us type thing. Um, um, but yeah, so that, that, that's, that, that, and they, and they um, take the, uh, the two thugs um, basically into, into uh, house arrest custody. Um, so yeah. Um, so I vote we um, throw them off the train. Yeah, not long afterwards you, that you get into, um, not long afterwards um, the train uh, the train pulls into uh, Stingard, 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 which is in one of the hollows of the green area. So, you, um, and the the two individuals are handed over to the local, the local um, uh, authorities, um, and the uh, the authorities uh, actually come on board and take statements from all of you guys as well. Okay, uh, so the S so SK the SK guys come on and. Um, uh, take statements from you guys and, and, and spend about the hour the hour that the train's in Stindag so you basically don't get a chance to leave and have, have a look at what else is going on um, okay so um, yep. in and then after an about an hour or so the train leaves again um, and you're due to make that was afternoon uh, you're due to make has has early next morning uh, and then courts the early in the morning after that. Okay, just as a just to let you know how things are going. Okay, so I uh, hope that makes sense to everybody. Yep. Okay. Um, and some of the Rusk um, passengers buy you drinks, um, including the entire crew of the the thing. They thank you. Thanks for you know keeping, you know, thanks for helping out with our friend type thing. You know, um, and uh, some of the rust buy you drinks that night and are quite friendly. Uh, some of the humans uh, 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 do that as well. Some of the humans don't, um, but nobody's outwardly completely hostile. I mean, you've just proven yourselves capable. So, you know, um, so yeah. If it's uh, unless it's not allowed on the train, from this point on, Jazz will have his uh, melee weapon on him wherever he goes. Uh, have, w what's your melee weapon? Um, Sonic Sword. Yeah, okay. The, 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 the two SK guards aren't particularly happy about that at all. all right. They basically, they don't even, they're not even subtle about it. They d deliberately make requests, please leave that in your cabin. All right. You, it's up to you what you do, but they, they, they're not happy with you carrying the Sonic, that, the Sonic, that, that, that yeah. weapon around. No, he'll, he'll, and, he'll, follow, he'll follow the instructions. And they're not particularly happy, they're not particularly happy with you either, Cat, with your pistol. Right. Well, they, I'm going to wear my pistol it. now and my knife. They, they realize it's a non-lethal weapon, but they, they, again, they pointedly ask you to put your pistols away, all of you, and your and, and melee weapons away. They ask, they, they, they won't, they, they do insist that they won't enforce. If you know what I mean by the difference, right? They verbally strongly insist, but they will not enforce it if you if you are hell bent on carrying your carrying that weapon with you, or those weapons with you. Okay. And uh, my friend would have died if we had waited for you last time. So yeah, I'll be we better prepared. Was, we, yeah, no. Well, the thing I think they got here as quick as they could. Which I understand completely, but that may not be fat. That was not fast enough last time, and it would not be fast. It might not be fast enough in the future. Yeah. Okay. Well, as I said, they they, insi they verbally insist they do not enforce. I won't argue with them after making that statement. Okay. But so I will carry. You will carry. Okay. As will I. Anyone else carrying? Okay. Okay. You get a, you get a few odd looks from some of the other passengers. They're uncomfortable with you having weapons on on you. All right. But nobody says anything. All right. But you're not making any friends. Put it that way. Apart from, I tell you, who I'm, I tell you who you have made friends with. Um, is the SK crew and most of the Rusk, even some of the uh, some of the Rusk, other Rusk on the passenger Rusk passengers, are standoffish because you are carrying.
weapons. Uh, that's fine. Okay. That's understandable. That's right. I'm just, I'm just letting you know where things stand. Okay. We have established that we are superior on this temporary train route. We are now <laughs> kings of this train. Okay, if you reckon. And queens. Mm hmm And it, and, and it, and my... What's a royal it? All right. What's a what? You got kings and queens, but what about an it? What's a royal it? Uh, I don't know. Your majesty, mate? I don't know. Um... So does anyone, does anyone want to do anything the rest of the day? I'll take that as a no. I'll, I'll no. help uh, SK re-wax his shell. <laughs> you know that's rather intimate, don't you? Yes, I Babu's do. Babu's hungry. He's going to go eat the restaurant again. All right. Well, um, while you're, while you're, you're, you're helping, out, helping out in helping out, inverted commas um uh sk um yeah he 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 he's think he's thinking you but he's, he's pretty lethargic and he says i've got these terrible headaches yeah probably because he's been beaten up and he just he just wants to go to bed unfortunately for you alone um he doesn't feel like yeah um so uh he he, he retires pretty early in the evening um so yeah um the the uh uh, w while you're I while you guys are in the in the dining car or the recreation car, wherever you happen to end up that evening, um, you, um, uh, you you're generally sitting around talking. The SK crew are talking with you. The um, S -A S A K crew are talking are talking with you, and and both both um, Janelle and um, Susie. Um, you know, they, 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 they obviously thank you for, for, look, for helping out, uh, looking after, uh, helping out and looking after things. Um, they, they, they comment that um, Cerise seems to be getting very friendly and they're not that displeased over it because it's been a while since um, a SK um, had, a, had a girlfriend. Um, so, you know, see how we go. Um, but um, they also... Uh, they also happen to mention that they're a bit worried about about SK, the fact that he got beaten up. Um, uh, they're, they're a bit worried about it, a bit worried about his health, and hopefully um, Cerise will 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 not treat him too badly. Um, he had to spend some time away at a, a stress clinic um, uh, about 12 months or so. Was it 12 months ago? Is that ago? Yeah, about 12 months or so ago. Um, yeah, where so. Um, oh, did he? Uh, as, uh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. As, hang on. as far as they're concerned, the behaviour was the, the, of the disgraceful, and, and but such attacks are symptomatic of the current unrest uh, following the assassination of Legrand. Oh no, kill him now! <laughs> <laughs> He's one of the. So did he? Uh, did he go to uh, the the clinic in the depression? Yeah, I, I I think it was I think it was um, the clinic in Court's Depression says says Susie. Yeah, I think so. I'm not sure. Um, says says Janine. But yeah. How uh, interesting. Well, maybe. So, um, yeah, anyway, the night, uh, unless someone wants to do something, the night continues on, and we'll, we'll uh, does anyone want to do anything? Um, I would pass ask, uh, pass just Doc to check, after, after we learn that about, about um, SK, suggest that the Doc uh, check A for uh, cerebral damage, and let him know that, hey, if, He's got some sort of check him for an implant and try to treat his headache. If it, if he'll let me, or if it'll let me. Yeah, I'll, I'll go with him. I'll go with Doc to try to talk SK into letting Doc treat him. Maybe Babu should also uh, evaluate him mentally. 
you were treated uh, basically you treated Tesco, you treated him pretty much for his for his contusions and that so you knock on his door and after a while he, he comes to the door and he's looking pretty drowsy because you've just woken him up yeah oh, what can, what, what, what's up he says so I, I know you're I my friend I know you're hurting but the doctor here we really you know I would really appreciate it if you would uh, let him check on you after after such a, a beating it's it's dangerous for you to sleep too much uh, yeah, I'm fine. I just, you know, I'm okay. I'm okay. He says. Oh, of of, co of course, dear. Of course you are. But please, do do me this little favor. Uh, oh, all right, all right. Come in. He says. In like Flynn. So, so Doc, I'm concerned. This is our first opportunity to, for you to medically evaluate somebody who's been to the clinic. And we know yeah, that. Oh, well. Okay. Well, you know, he, he had to, he had to examine SK. Did you do the you know, first aid on him when he, when he, when he, earlier today? Right, but at this point, Doc, what I'd like you to look for is, we know the two Rusk executives had what were scars that appear to be anti-shock implants, but maybe they weren't. Maybe they were in, you know, mind control devices. Or something, <laughs> right? Um, so so this, this is before we this is before we go in. Oh, okay. So it's yeah, not in so front we'll, of SK. Right. So, we'll start by looking for anything quote unusual unquote. And I and then of course the concern is if there was anything such unusual or any electronics or such that maybe they were damaged in the beating. Okay. Um. Uh, if you want to examine SK, um, I will let you uh, do that. Um, I will get you, need you to get me a, a give me a, um, a search roll, please. Okay, not a diagnosis, a search. No, a search roll at the moment, please, because you you said you were looking for signs of whatever. Okay. Um, yes, SK does have a small scar on the back of his uh, skull where a shock implant it would go. Well, there's something here. Are you aware that you had surgery? No, um, oh, look, I can't remember at the moment. Well, that's not an encouraging sign. Perhaps you're a little fuzzier than we thought. No, I'm all right. I just, I just need to get some sleep. That's all. Not remembering whether you've had surgery is—that's a warning sign. I'd like to examine yeah, look, you I, further. Yeah, uh, look, I think. Yeah, look, I, yeah, I, I, I know. I, I know. Yeah, we had some stuff done of when I was a kid, but that was years ago. And uh, look, is it really necessary to do this right now? I've really got a headache. Series. Well, he's not showing any signs of he's not showing any signs of concussion. Okay. Yeah, if that <laughs> if, if that species has species has concussion symptoms. I oh, everybody, 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 everybody has yeah, everyone can get concussion. So he's not showing any signs of concussion. But I mean, he's just he's been through an ordeal. It wouldn't surprise me that he's got a headache. It wouldn't surprise you he's got a headache. Okay. Yeah, but isn't that a sign of, of a concussion? Not always. No, not always. I mean, yes, it is, but they, but not always. But he's got a yeah. But I mean, it it, it it wouldn't surprise Doc. It wouldn't surprise you that he's got a headache and not have concussion and have no other nothing else going on except the fact he's had a, st a, tra a traumatic, stressful day. You know, he's beaten up for God's sake. Of course, he'd have a headache. You know what I mean? Especially with brass knuckles. I mean, you, I mean, for that matter, Cerise, you don't feel that crash hot in terms of that. You got smacked in the face with, with brass knuckles as well. I know you got your bruises fixed up, but you know. So that's the only thing that's unusual. Well, I wouldn't even call it unusual. I mean, you've seen, you've seen, um, you've seen uh, scars before. You've seen uh, in, uh, shock implant scars before. I mean, Cerise has got one, for example, I believe. Don't you, Cerise? Oh yeah. Yeah, Cerise has got one. So the only reason I bring it up is the fact that Cerise brought it up because Cerise seems to be interested in it for some strange reason. Mm, 
well, he doesn't seem to be suffering from anything, and I'm pretty much not sure I want to conduct any further examination on a patient who doesn't want it. Well, I really appreciate your concern, both of you, and he, as he, when he says that, he smiles at you, Cerise. Um, but, but in all seriousness, look, I just, just, I just want to get a good night's sleep. I'll be, I'll be fine in the morning. I, I'm, I'll be fine. Could I, could I uh, stay with you to just make sure that, to just observe, make sure that uh, you wake up well rested. Now, look, I, I appreciate the concern, but I, I'd just rather be alone if you don't mind at the moment. And again, he smiles at you, says it to soften the blow. It's not that he doesn't want to be with you, it's just he doesn't want to be with you at the moment. Well, I don't necessarily want to be with him, but I want to, uh, uh, yeah, I'm worried for his health. No, look, I'm fine. I'm, I'm perfectly okay. It's just, it's just, it's just, I just had a, it's been a bad day, as you know. I just need to get a good night's sleep. So thanks, he says, as he, as he sort of kind of shows you to the door, both of you to the door. Alright, I'm not going right. to battle at all. Yeah, we'll, we'll depart. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, so, uh, if no, anyone else want to do anything this night, tonight? Nope. 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 Okay. That's um, so just so yeah. yeah, okay. Um, do you want to gamble? Anyone want to gamble with um, with uh, uh, with um, uh, uh, Blue Door? I'll take that as a no. <laughs> Not after so, um, uh, Jazz got demolished. <laughs> <laughs> Fleece, I think the words you're looking for. Um, uh, so. Next morning, again, around about, uh, about sometime in the early morning, oh, not early morning, but yeah, sunlight morning, um, you pull into uh, the the, um, the next ta the next town on the way, which I've forgotten the name of already, because it's in it's in Brusque, and I don't speak Brusque natively. Uh, Hargitz. Uh, Hargitz, again, is up in the mountains. Um, um, so if you're going to leave the train for the hour or so it's there, you need to... Um, you need to... Um, uh, wear masks, wear because ma you are up in the hill, uh, up in the mountains. Okay. Anyone want to leave the train? Uh, no. no. I'm good. Okay. All right. Well, when you get back on the train and the train pulls out, not long after that, um, sorry, I just got to find it again. Um, S K. Um, obviously got into some, got into some, uh, alcohol of some sort, because he's wandering around the train like he's drunk. Um, and, uh, he's so drunk, he's actually slurring some of his speech. Doc? Uh, and yeah. some, of, some of it's rather incoherent, in, incoherent as well. PTSD, perhaps? No, what, what, drinking? Probably, possibly. Or possibly. brain damage, or the mind control thing he's come loose. <laughs> I know you're laughing at me, <laughs> but that's what Cherise believes. Matt, I did, it was beautiful when you had your evil laugh before, because there was a bit of an echo, so it like echoed twice. Oh, it, really? just sounded, it sounded beautiful. <laughs> uh, excellent. Excellent. Um, anyway, uh, so the, the, what do you want guys want to do for the rest of the day? Doc, do you want to check out SK? <laughs> well, uh, I, need I mean, he's he's acting inebriated, but it's probably unlikely that he actually drank alcohol. Why? Why would it be alcohol? unlikely? Because he was sleeping. Well, yeah, but we're in the middle. Of the, it's now it's now the middle of the morning. I mean, yeah, you know, some people drink in the morning. I've been known to have one or two when the mood takes me, when I've got nothing else on. After a beat down? No, no I've never been beaten down. I've never lost a fight. And that yeah, I mean, is right that not a classic sign of a concussion? I don't know. I'm no, not a doctor.
I suppose it we is. just leave him alone and wait for him to pass out and then... I'm not a doctor, so but I have two in the family, and I, so I'm just laughing. <laughs> I know, I'm just saying, you know, you know the, doctor, the doctor here says he's okay so far. So what do you guys, okay, what do you guys want to do and, uh, for the rest of the day? Are we talking just, again, just hanging out, or do you actually want to do something right now, or do you want to wait, or what's the story? I suppose just keep SK under observation. Okay. Well, as I said, he, 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 he's, he's, he's lurching around, you know, how, you know how drunks lurch around, and when anyone tries to talk to him, his speech is, is slurred and somewhat, inco and somewhat inco incoherent. Okay, I'll lay, I'll lay off the Biden humor. Yeah. Um, the lunchtime um, uh, comes and goes. Um, and um, not long after lunch, SK, uh, again, he's, he's, he's lurching around, he, uh, the, 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 the train, the, 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 the speech is, is, um, is slurred and incoherent. Um, he's, he's clutching his head, um, he's moaning rather loudly, uh, and his antennae roll around wildly. All right? And then he collapses not too far from you guys. Doc, you said you were waiting until he went unconscious. Yeah, I guess he's down. Okay, let's right. take a look. All right, well, that'll be a diagnosis roll, obviously. Okay. Um, according to your diagnosis, Doc, there, he, he's got some sort of major, tr major tr trauma um, to his head. If he doesn't get major surgery successfully performed, um, you think he'll die within an hour. Sounds like we need to stop the train. Can't stop the train. Train doesn't stop between stops. The train's pretty stable, right? And the train is heading towards Quartz, which is a yeah, Quartz. Um, but it won't. It's, it's more than an hour out. Um, the um, not long after your, not long after your th your thing, your uh, your diagnosis. Um, the medic on board, the train medic, uh, arrives, but he's only a medic. He's not a doctor. And, he, and, and after a quick discussion, um, there's no way that the train medic can do it. Well, he could. Right. He could try the major surgery, but you're better at it than he is. So what do you want to do, guys? Jazz will assist. Doc. Chop, chop. Hipp Hippocratic oath. All right. All right, so you so you clear out the dining car, put a couple of tables together, and make a ma make a makeshift a makeshift uh, um, surgery. Um, there's precious little. Um, uh, it's, it's certainly not a sterile area, but I mean you can get it, you can get him, you can get him pretty sterile um, just with the stuff that's in your med kit. Uh, yeah, but it, ca it will count as a field. It will count as a field surgery, not as a um, a first aid, not as a um, um, a first aid station or a hospital surgery. Okay. Okay. Who's in the Who's in the dining car? Uh, who's in the dining car? Yeah, everyone's there, I think. You want everyone? You want everyone there for the surgery, do you? I mean, how big is this dining car? Well, you, you got the you got the map there, so. Oh, one square equals two meters. Yeah, yeah that's pretty big. Yep. Yeah. All right. Okay. Um, so you, you you get yourselves prepared. Um, I'm and gonna so make sure make everyone everyone who's in the dining car, but not uh, just who's just observing, make sure that you know they sanitize and clean themselves, um, just like the yep. uh, the surgeons would. Good, good. Um, and off you go. But off you go uh, with your assistance role, Jazz. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to roll the straight major surgery. Mm -hmm. And I don't remember what we, <laughs> what our rules are for assist. 
uh, basically you have got, you've got to make the roll to get, get give the sur give the surgeon uh, any extra. So you you haven't failed, so you haven't you haven't what? you haven't you haven't critically failed, so you haven't stuffed up the surgery on him. But there's no right. benefit. But wasn't it wasn't it like if okay? All right, all right. I, I was clamp, just remembering that. Clamp, if, not forceps. If we did like uh, <laughs> if there wasn't any kind of bonus to it, then wasn't it like um, there was no point in assisting? Hey. Um. Oh, never mind. Yeah, never mind. That's fine. Yeah, no. It's, uh, yeah. Um. So, major surgery. Um. Doc. Okay, just a straight up roll then. Yeah. Uh huh. Oh, uh, you make it look easy. Even even with even even with the clamp clamp, not the forceps. <laughs> All right. Um, Anything so unusual in there in that thorax? Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. You going into the thorax, are you? I thought you were going into the into the head. Yeah, well, we'll start there. What the thorax <laughs> or the head? It's a half joke. I'm assuming. Yeah, okay. I'm assuming. You, I'm assuming because it was cranial, da cranial. You diagnosed cranial damage. You went into the cranial area. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So. Okay, um, so you go into the cranial, um, um, and in the cranial you find a small uh, piece of circuitry, and it doesn't look like any shock implant, not to you. Okay, what you can, uh, what you can specify, you can't, is that it's wired in to the cortex, and there appears to be a small. Um, Explosive charge wide into it as well. Well, hello, boys and girls. There's one of these things is not like the other. <laughs> the moment you see that, it explodes. <laughs> so, what do you want to do? This thing looks rigged to blow, boys and girls. What should we do? It's not supposed to be here, as far as I know. Hand it to the medic slash explosive. Ah, no, 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 no. It's still wide into the cortex. Oh, it's really wide into the anywhere. So I think the demolitions expert right. needs to disconnect it. Yeah, I mean, is he in any danger from from unhooking this device? That, as far as I can tell. Uh, well, it's explosive. You, it, it looks like a, a, a reasonably substantially sized charge. Are uh, you a demolitions expert? Uh, no, I was nope. asking more along the lines of if if we removed it, it would that cause it would that cause his death? Th I don't care about the explosives. Well, it may do because it may set the explosive off. Okay, but other than that, removing it's well, not going to well, kill him. Well, yeah. Well, you, you can you could you could remove the you could remove the thing. Okay, you think you had the skills to remove it safely, and if it was removed safely, then it would probably be okay for SK's general mental well health, right? But it's got a piece of explosive next to it. Why did yep. it? Okay, well, <laughs> this is outside my bailiwick. Hello? <laughs> Jazz will take a look at it and try right. to evaluate uh, whether or not. Are you, a dis are you an explosive expert? You have demolition uh, yep. skill. Okay, yep. the fact that you have demolition skill tells you that yes, as far as, as, far as you're aware, if you try and remove this thing without di first disarming it, it'll go off. And if it goes off, it's probably big enough to take out um, SK and the surgeon, w and the surgeon do doing the removal. All right, it's probably got about a one to two meter radius. All right, radius. does it does it look like it's okay? But it is it do, uh, mm, it does appear to potentially be diffusible, right? Yeah, it does. Look, it does appear to be diffusible. It won't be easy. It's a minus twenty percent to your to your diffuse roll. What's your diffuse at? Eighty eight. But you know me and my rolls. Yes, and now we know who was yeah, yes, cat's right, cat. We now know <laughs> we need to know who was there. <laughs> What's your diffuse roll, mate? Uh eighty eight. Well you'd be sixty eight then, because it's a minus twenty. Yeah. So you have a two in three chance of getting it. Well, if you do it right, uh, we have the we have the chip. That's great. If you do it wrong, you blow open his head. 
Yeah. Well, okay. So we'll do this then. Um, take uh, we'll, we'll take like high res snapshots of it, right? So we actually have pictures and evidence of what's in his head. Well, basically, and basically then... it's, a circuit, it, 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 it's the downside of a circuit board. All the circuitry is on the other side, so you can't actually see what it is. So that's the downside oh, of the circuit fine. board. And, and with, okay. with um, um, a, 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 you know, some, C, some CDC, some um, a C4. And it's enough C4 for that for a one to two meter radius, you, you, you estimate. Uh, All right. Uh, that's fine. Thomas, I mean, just a pick. Yep. Is your 88 with your demolitions CAS added? Uh, yep. Yes, it is. Ah, uh, okay. Boo. Okay. Fair enough. <laughs> um... <laughs> So, so yeah, so I mean, we'll, we'll get some snapshots of it just so we have evidence of like a explosive wire into sure. someone's head. Um, is and that, then and we'll also, Jazz and will also ask. Has, obviously your CAS, yeah, obviously your CAS, your CAS will help with some of that evidence because it's taking readings as well. Is there yeah. any way that I can assist here and boost his CAS's type like computational power or anything like that? Is that something that I'm able to assist with? No, Given but anyone with anyone, anyone with microelectronics would would be able to to, to help out because it's it's wired in microelectronicsly. So, I got a supercomputer if that helps. So no, you don't. technician. No, no, it's right, it's right on my belt. Yeah, um, the technician, the, te the technician does microelectronics. Yeah, it would help out. If you want to okay. help, you want to get in there and, and help. No, but I'll help. <laughs> well, I mean, I got four <laughs> ranks. So. We could put out a call. Okay. I mean, maybe someone on the train has has the skill. No. Jazz, have you have have that. you uh, have you let everybody know of the dangers here, or are we just blissfully watching the surgery unaware. unaware at the moment? Yeah. Unaware at the moment. Right. So, yeah. so as, as I was saying. Um, Jazz is going to so we take the pictures, uh, let let the rest of them know. Then it's going to ask that uh, you know, people clear out, including the doc. Um, also going to ask that someone give Jazz uh, an inertia screen because uh, Jazz will have a skin suit and also um, put on the inertia screen. Can 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 he just okay. the inertia screen on? Uh... Well, and... And, and you said the technician skill would help, right? The technician skill will help. You, you can do it, you can use the technician skill to assist as an assistant. Okay, so I'll assist. assist. All right, so um, inertia screen doing fine, fine demolition work. No, I don't think you could, mate. I think it would it, interfere with the, fine, the, the, the dexterity fine emission that you'd need to use. But I don't mind you having the suits on, um, but I don't, think, I don't think the inertia screen would be appropriate. All right. Unfortunately, we don't have any uh, bomb uh, bomb unit suits type things. Well, that's a suit. that's a skin suit, basically. <laughs> okay. Yeah, except you know, in the distant future, it's as thin as modern clothes. Yeah, pretty much. All right. Um, so yeah, so we'll ask everyone else to kind of stay out of range. Uh, let security know what's going on. Um, and uh, Cerise will assist Jazz. Yes. All right, Cerise, you want to give me a, uh, a technician role, please? Which one you think? Operate? Um, no. Good question. Deactivate or detect? Open no, lock. Detect. Operate. You know, you know it's going. You know it's going on in that way. Um, I would say deactivate would be the one most close. All repair and they're the same, so it doesn't make a difference. Okay, so there's a there's a. Um, how much did you make that by? You made that by four. There's a twenty percent bonus, which basically cancels out the twenty percent um, penalty for the uh, for working on something so small than that. So just a straight, um, a straight. Um, Demolition roll, mate. Yes. Ooh, that twenty percent came in handy, didn't right. it? Okay. So you you, you managed to disarm it. It's still inside its head, though. 
So what do you want to do now? And time's right. running out because he's, he's this is you know we're, the, 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 the hour we're using for this is is, is it's fast fast being used up. All right, we'll call Doc back in to remove the implant. Okay, Doc, do you want to give me a, you want to give me a, um, a, a, a just a, ma a major surgery? It's fine. You, you just, uh, there's bonuses to it, so okay. it's just a matter of getting this thing out. Just don't fail it, basically. Um, all right, so you you, you 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 successfully get the implant removed, um, and you get him sewn back up just in time. Um, quick diagnosis for me, please. Okay. Meanwhile, what are you guys doing with the with the the, the, the device and the attached explosive material? Hoo hoo hoo! We're gonna study we're that. Gonna study that. Yeah. Disarm it. Well, we did. It's already disarmed. How but much? It's still attached. How many? It's still it's still the, the explosive material is still still attached to the circuitry. Um, well, and uh, take it apart. The diagnosis. Yeah. Okay. The diagnosis tells you. Um, he, 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 you, you were successful and he's going to be okay. So you, you help SK back to his bed, his room. Um, the, uh, his two human companions are, are, are most thankful and um, the guards are most thankful that you got away with it and didn't blow anyone up. Um, so you've got, this, you've got this circuit board and you've got, um, you've got it, atta it's still attached to the, to the explosive material. What would you like to do? Take the explosive material off of the circuit board, so it cannot be okay. remote okay. De detonated. Can you give me a disarm roll? Uh, can you give me a, dis a, dis uh, uh, a repair roll, please? It can't. It's the same thing. Can you give Would me it be better roll? for me to do it, or better to ja for Jazz to do it? Whoever's got the no, this is a, this is now. You, now you're talking at the level of circuitry. Okay. Um, uh, you, it's better off that one of the technicians do it. Okay. You managed to successfully remove the explosive material from the circuit. I assume you hand this, the explosive material to Jazz. Yeah. Hey. What do you do, What do you do with it, Jazz? Well. Bonus boom I assume, boom. That, I assume that the security is going to have a say in what they want me to do with explosives, right? Well, they would like you to give it to them for for, for disposal. They are the well, security. They are the security. I'll ask people. them. You. You, you, you got to take the detonator me. out of it. Keep this, would you? Um, yes, thank you. And they I mean, get a, um, they get an evidence bag and put it in, put the evidence, put it in an evidence bag and take it away. Yeah, because that that kind of stuff can be traced, I think. But it, yeah, it can be. Do you want to give me a um, a technician role to actually open up and work out the secretary? Yep. Uh, what do you want? Well, you activate. No, repair. repair. Yeah. Okay. All right. So you've got the, you've got this thing spread out and, uh, and opened up, and, and inside inside in, you know, on the back side you find um, there's a number of silicon chips. Um, there's also what appears to be a very small radio receiver, uh, and obviously space for where the explosive charge was connected. Um, yeah, so number of number of computer chips in it. So was it connected to the the neuro part of the the brain stem or? It was connected was into the cortex by microfi microfiber wires, which have now been removed successfully. So I want to deactivate any uh, communication ability off the device. Yeah, well, it's, as I said, it's got a, it's a bunch of computer chips. Right, but you said it had some sort of uh, receiver, radio right? Radio receiver. It had a small radio receiver, correct. Yeah, so I want to deactivate, either take it apart or destroy the radio receiver. Um, if okay, possible, well, I'd like to understand the frequencies that it goes with first. Mm -hmm. And okay. and if it, you know, if it has any type yep. of encryption yep. circuit on it, that sort of thing. Not the, okay, not, not that you can see. All you can see is a bunch of computer chips and the radio receiver itself. Uh, working out the frequency, um, yeah, you're not going to be able to do that, I don't think. Uh, okay. So I want to take but, the. Uh, you can certainly take. You, you can certainly disconnect. You can certainly disconnect the radio receiver from the rest of the circuitry if you wanted to. It would be a repair, repair role to do that. Yep, I want to do that. And 
actually. So uh, that was was that the repair I just made then, the, the 33? Yep. Okay. So you've disconnected the, the radio receiver, the radio receiver circuitry from the rest of the circuitry. Sorry if I missed it, but what would the range on that radio be? Well, it's a receiver, so the size of it. Um, Probably, um, well, see, it's a receiver, so it depends on the transmitter uh, more than the receiver. Yeah, that's yeah, true. Um, would it be like kilometers or planetary or? If the transmitter well, was large well, enough. If the transmitter was large enough, it'd be planetary. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, um, that's the nice thing about receivers. You don't, there's no, yeah. Um, thing. What was interesting, it, it, uh, the whole the whole circuitry is being was being powered by bioelectric the bioelectric signals of um, SK himself. There's no power source. It's all it was all tapped into the bioelectric system. Um, so it's, it's it's not that's not unheard of. I mean that's how um, uh, cybernetic implants work. Uh, they they tap into the bioelectric system. But I mean you'd need a pretty good you need a pretty good surgeon. Or surgical team to, to, to do that. That's not something you do um, in the field, shall we say? Yeah, um, you need a proper a proper hospital grade. That's uh, what you do at a certain <laughs> sanatorium. <laughs> Glad you guys are parrot. You and your mind controlled chips. Whoa, 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 all right, hang on. Do we? Is this something that we could uh, like? A jury rig a connection into my CAS, uh, so I could interrogate it at all. Or are we talking? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah you can do that. You can do that. Okay. Um, uh, would wanna, that, that examine it? Would that be Cerise doing the wiring and then Cat doing no, the basic? No, no, that no, that would be you. Oh, okay, yeah, sweet. The, uh, yeah. So you can do that. Uh, yeah, 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 as I said, they're computer chips. So this definitely falls into your area of expertise. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, you successfully get things interfaced. What you can tell um, is that the the chips contain uh, 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 contain an extremely sophisticated binary coding instruction, right? But you have no idea what the function of the chips are. Yeah. Okay. Oh, we know what the function of the chips are. Yep. No, you don't. No, you don't. You suspect. There's a difference. What 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 level of tech? Are we talking here? Are we talking like military type stuff, like bleeding edge stuff? Like oh, it's pretty, it's, pr it's, pre it's pretty state of the art. It's pretty state of the art stuff. It's 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 not 100% cutting edge. It's not military grade, uh, uh, burn it before you see it type stuff. You know what I mean? But it's it's pretty solder. It's pretty state of the art. Any um, Streel logos? <laughs> and <history of> <laughs> uh, no, there's no logo. There's, uh, uh, there's no logo. I mean, the chips themselves are generic chips, cutting edge. We're not, you know, state of the art generics. I mean, they've got, the, 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 they're not branded at all. There's no branding. No serial no, ideas. No, uh, no. Well, not that you can see any serial numbers that have been taken off them, or didn't ever have them in the first place. Um, there is um, the, 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 the chip board that everything was attached to does have a pen gal. A pen galactic logo on it, um, and a serial number, breadboard serial number. All right. But uh, can I? You know, you know, cat. Those type of breadboards are pretty common. You know what I mean? Yeah. You get them in, and, uh, the, and the roboticists know they're they're pretty common. They're they're the, they're the generic breadboards that just about everybody uses, unless they want a specialised circuit, the bur 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 specialised circuit burnt into them. And there does not appear to be a specialised circuit on this one. This was all, this was all wired, um, microwise, but still wired. There was no, there's no, in there's no in burnt circuitry on the breadboard itself. It's all in the chips, and the yep. chips are gen the chips have no logos or nothing, no serial numbers on them. And neither does the radio. Did the yep. C4 have anything that could have been traced? Uh, well, no, well, the C4 is just a block of C4, so I mean, yeah, the only way you trace the C4 is via the chemical analysis. Um, we got a chemist with us? I don't know, that was a genuine question. 
No, we don't. Uh, yeah, okay, te well. Technically, you have somebody with one point of geochemical okay. physics. I, I have chem. Oh, do you? Well, you, chem you, you, can do a you can do a chemical analysis on the C4 to get the chemical signature, but you, you then have to compare it with something. Yeah, we don't have it. Yeah, I got geophysics with my chem, so not biology. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. I, 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 there was a genuine question. I couldn't remember who, who had the chemistry part of it. Um, I, knew, I, I thought someone did. Anyway, but that's what you'd have to... You, you can certainly do a chemical analysis on the C4 to get its particular signature, but then you'd have to ha compare that to other signatures to, to find out where it came from and things like that, so... Right, well, we could do it and get at least just get get a baseline, right, and then start yeah, searching you can around. Yeah, if you want... You can do that. If you also, if you want, to, if you want to give me a chemical analysis on the on the C4, if that's a yeah, just give me the the chair, the roll. Oh. <laughs> did you see that? It almost rolled over onto the onto the. I oh, did roll under the nine. Um, I thought I saw a sort of three. Um, yeah. Look. Um, you you get a you get a chemical signature, whether it's the right one or not. You're pretty sure it's the right one. So yeah. So sorry, boys and girls. Um. So cat, what do you want to do? Because we, we, you know, uh, no, you cannot. Uh, you cannot analyze the coding. It's too. It's it's too. Um, it's too sophisticated. It isn't for you. So Even with a supercomputer. That that means it's above six level. No, it means with that, that it's too. It's it, it, it's too. Uh, well, you don't know what the penalties are for starters. Um, but well, no, you are. Uh, Sorry, go on. Yeah. Okay. Cool. But yeah. Um. Yes. So no, it's just uh, you. You. You have. You are having trouble working what that. What out. What. What is it? What it all is. And yes, I can. Uh, I can wipe out up to ninety. Up to a ninety. Uh, roll of ninety. By the way. Well, what if that was a ninety set? It wasn't a ninety six. But it, it so could be if right. we use my supercomputer. No, you are not using the supercomputer. Okay. Yeah, it, it's a super. I just gotta take my my body comp, plug it into his body comp, and he can see use my super. Yeah. Com and you can't do that. Well, I just give him my super computer. I just it's we trot straight body on. comp. You're, you're very close to losing experience points by carrying on with it, folks. Okay, I'm getting pissed. Say like air. Okay. <laughs> so, um, yeah. What, if, what does everyone want to do? So I will, I will just mention that, but this is some pretty gnarly stuff uh, that I can't figure out despite my best effort. Like, I guess playing this properly, that would be like the next morning because I would be trying that all over the night. Like it's a long, okay. it's like an, it's an hours thing. Um, yeah, so we're the, doing the, it. Yes, we're doing. yeah, so we're, we're, munging timelines here but i would mention that this is like really high tech stuff and i can't figure it out um so uh, the code. Yeah, yeah. yeah can't figure out the code uh and uh i guess who wants to keep hold of it uh i can keep hold of it if people want or whether we have to give it back to the uh uh no security keep people. hold of it keep hold right, they can have hold. the explosive but oh. so 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 moving moving backwards in time to the Early morning, uh, you know, like just after lunchtime business, when you've gotten this, when you've gotten the surgery done, what do you people want to do? You want to now that now that you've now that you've discovered this thing and you're and you're investigating it and you've disarmed it, and you've put SK back in his room, uh, uh, getting to getting better again. You know, like what do you guys want to do that afternoon? Well, Cat would be out of action. She'd be. In her room, trying to figure. So you're spending, with you're, it. Spending the, you're spending the entire afternoon doing that. That's fine. That's okay. Y What's the yeah, l let me roll my D10 because it's D10 hours. Uh, we'll play okay. it properly. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> Ten uh, hours. Lol. <laughs> okay. Uh huh. What else do you want to go? Where is the? Uh, anyone else want to do anything? Do anything no, I don't anything? think I have anything to do. Alright, nothing for you. What about you, Jazz? Hanging out? Babu? Doc? I assume you, you check in on your patient <coughs> every now and then, Doc. Yep. 
Yeah, Bugs, and when those he, guys, he, uh, the miners left the uh, train. Yeah, they were, they, were take, they were taken off the train and arrested. Well, they were arrested on the train and taken off, and you know, back a few stops ago. So there's no, there's yeah. no one like that on the train anymore. Nobody else has been doing anything like that, watching us. Uh, oh, not not no any of the same no any of the same extent. No, certainly not. Okay. All right. Um, so you're pretty well. Um, uh, rest of the afternoon uh, travels on um, pretty well w without anything going on. Um, um, according to the displays in the cabins showing the progress of your train, you're you're fast approaching the last the last major ridge before descending into Quartz uh, Depression um, and the city of Quartz. Um, you're still a couple of hours out, of course. Um, and it's getting on. It's 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 not quite dusk. It's a little bit before dusk. Okay. So um, all of a sudden, um, the computerized uh, alarm goes off, um, and the computerized voice uh, is go you know is on along the lines of um, warning: depression in sleeping car one. Warning: depression in sleeping car one. Warning, depression in sleeping car one. Before you can do anything. It's going to get in early. <laughs> is um, that the one that I was doing stuff in? Um, it is. It is the one you're doing stuff in. Shite. Um, <laughs> before you can do anything, though, um, um, y everybody hears... Followed by... Those okay. are friendly sounds. So, <laughs> friendly sounds. Uh, so I'll look, I'll get initiative off people if you don't mind. How do I minimise this this day? These days, that's how I do it. Okay, so uh, Kat got a 14. And uh, Doc got a 16. And uh, not 26, 16. I'll take <laughs> 26. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, I'm sure you will. Baboo, where are you, Baboo? You got a 13. Uh, and Cerise got a 5. And Jazz got a 15. And Vote got a 15. Is that right? All good. Okay. Um, so Doc. Um, I'm sh I'm going to assume you're somewhere between the somewhere in the restaurant or the bar, or even e even um, in the entertainment car, right? Okay. Yeah? Where so somewhere in there. So what do you want to do? You have heard the explosion. You have heard the. Um, oh, it sounded like a frag grenade, by the way. Um, and you you have heard the autom automatic fire coming from the front of the tr towards the front of the train. What do you want to do? I'm moving in that general direction. I'm sure there's someone needs treatment. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay. Um, so that's what you're doing. What are you doing, Jazz? I'm assuming you're somewhere um, in the back in, in the in back as well. Yeah. So I guess in terms of our weaponry, we were told to leave it in our sleeping area. Is that what it was? Uh huh. Locked away. That's right. All mm -hmm. right. Well, Jazz will go as fast as you can towards wherever his weapons are currently stowed. Which is a f which is a f the, f the uh, number one sleeping car, which is where the alarm's saying it's been de de it's been depressurized. Yeah, all right. Fair enough. That's where we'll go. Okay. Um, um, is there as is the the breathing equipment? Is that just uh, scattered throughout the train? Like the it's a, it, it, there's there's breathing equipment at every one of the stars. Not the stars in the not the star silhouettes in the black circles. The other stars. All right. There's breathing equipment okay. in all of those. Um, and the uh, and there's um, s f uh, how much was there again? There was um. Um, oh, where was it? There, there's, there's four or six. Uh, oh, here we go. Six for brass, six for human, two for gra
Well, that's it for this session. We hope you've enjoyed the game as much as we did. We'd like to thank Smiteworks, Sirenscape and Twitch. And of course, all the fantastic people involved with the Star Frontiers RPG over the years. I'm Dulux Oz, and on behalf of the entire gaming group, we'd like to say thanks for watching. We'll see you all next time. Until then, may your God go with you.